everyone, I'm Blackjack Gaviani. Welcome back to Blackjack. And I'm trying to avoid being caught by a ghost. I changed my team up a little bit. So that doesn't get noticed. But the second I pop out from behind this rock, that thing's gonna come for me. Um. Come on, Buck. Okay, okay, that's not a rock. Okay, fine. <laughs> there was, before we get started on our actual quest, there was something I wanted to take care of. Never this way. As you can see, I've changed up again. And so on. Because I see... a Piplup. Come on, eat up! <laughs> oh no, her name is Maris. <laughs> You're part of the Survey Corps, right? Could you help me out? Seems this Pokemon's so hungry they can barely even move. Tried giving it food, but it wouldn't take a bite. I don't know if it's being stubborn or what. Showed some interest in plump beans, but it still wouldn't eat them. <laughs> you could use crafting! Oh, of course! If we make the plump beans extra tasty, I'm sure this little deer will eat them. What kind of Supply Corps member am I to completely forget about crafting? I just completely forget- Okay, good. I can- Sounds good. Uh, had to check my sound on Twitch itself. In any case, maybe bean cakes will do the trick. Could you make one? If you need the recipe, you can find it at the Craftworks. You want me to go all the way back to town? Fine, then. Well, what? Hello? Should we? <sighs> I have to use leaden balls, don't I? Because Blissey, you're freaking huge. Hello, uh, Kinios? Kajnos? Of course the heavy balls don't go very far. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, here we go. Let's get ourselves a freaking chancy, shall we? Double edge! Crap. Uh. Well, what brings you here? And how do you say your name? I... I art well. How art thou? Although, <laughs> being an FF6 fan, I might just start calling you Mr. Thou, so... I... I'm just saying. Ah! Crick! Uh, I just started on Mount Rudy. I'm in the pain zone. Okay, Chimborazo, let's try you. Wow, that did almost nothing. Okay. Of course, a freaking course. Come on. This is an odd moveset for a Chansey. Chansey, Chansey! Of course it's got a calm mind. It's a freaking stall machine. Ah. Uh. I know one thing, Netbug will almost certainly not be joining us today. 
because she was doing her own stream. Right, no. Lead and bolts, come on. God, it's so complicated. So, um, n newcomer, do you want to name the, uh, do you want to name the Chansey? I guess I can't really name it right now, but, you know, you write it down and I'll have a nice name saved away for it. Murph is about ready to evolve. <laughs> oh, crap. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Okay. All right, thank you. Oh, come on, really? There we go. Twelve wisps remaining in this area. Earlier, I found my way up the spring path, but could not get into Turnback Cave. I think I need the braviary they showed in the trailer to get up there. Uh, uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, you can try that all you like. It's just infinite rage coming from a scrawny little fish. Uh huh. Yeah. Like I said, you can try, but you will not be successful. Because I have something your little fish body cannot tolerate, and that is the ability to stand on land! I would say dry land, but it's pouring down rain. Okay. Okay. Uh... Okay, well, I think I can make a bean cake. Like, I think that's just something I can do already. <laughs> just snap straight into place here. No. They really need to have some sort of formalized system. Getting on, getting off, etc. You cancel with the B button. Not with the plus button. Who cancels with the plus button, huh? Who sees the plus button and thinks, ah, yes, this is the way to cancel a control? Okay, uh, can I make, no, I don't actually have the recipe for a bean cake. Frick. Sure, might as well. Yes, yes, I know some applications are using the GPU. That's how computers work. Yes, uh, yes, I've made some new observations, Lavent, and you say this literally every time we do anything. Yeah, okay, well, we gotta return to the village. I gotta help this Piplup. 
Uh, you don't know how to make a bean cake, huh, Maris? Okay, crafting recipes, give me a freaking bean cake. Well, I'm finally getting something to do with the shards. Wait, I thought I could make salt cakes already. <sighs> Superb remedies, goodness. Sticky glob! So it's telling me how to make these things, but it won't let me actually make them. Until I buy the recipe. Pretty weak. <sighs> Cake lord base. Hey Choi, guess what? I'm actually gonna buy something from you as opposed to just selling you all my stuff. Frickin' Redick. Then I gotta waste everyone's time. Oh. Mass outbreak of Togepi, huh? Hmm. I'll tell you what. Let's go talk to Silene first. It's probably gonna start some plot stuff. Made progress. It seems you've earned yourself a star. <laughs> With this, you have officially attained the rank of seventh star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. Gigaton balls! Wow! All Pokemon will obey your orders reliably now. So, I basically just got my seventh badge, even though that's not supposed to happen till eight. <laughs> Have this as well. Is there further recipe we'll need for crafting? Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. Okay, they did not actually start any plot stuff. Okay. I hate that you can't go between areas. You have to go back to Jubilife and then leave again if you want to travel between areas. Hey Mercury, can be in a chat tonight. We'll be listening in. We're just taking care of... Uh, no, I want to go to the, the other one. <sighs> Okay, well, at least I can travel there. You know something I don't see? That I really thought I would be. Oh, that's right, I have to actually make the beans. I don't see the, um... Yeah, stop it! Stupid pop-up alerts. I don't see the, um, we're on the Sunny Shore area, and we're not seeing the, um, Munchlax Rock. So does that mean it's a carved feature? Come on. 
Pow. you give me a bean cake? Great. Actually, why don't you give it to Piplup? Let it eat out of your hands. Okay. Yep. Whoop. Wonderful. It really seems to like that bean cake. Pip, Wow, it ate the whole thing already? It's got quite the appetite, that's for sure. I'm taking quite a liking, little Piplup. And I don't think it's safe to let it wander around. I'll bring it back to the village and take care of it. Okay. it tells me that I can't actually fight it. Or that I need to fight. Oh, come on! No, no. Bad fishy, bad fishy. But hey, Mercury, I do have something to show you right quick. Hey, if you're watching. Let me know, because I think you might want to get in on this action. I got <laughs> an evolution on hand. <laughs> Wee! Awesome. <laughs> Actually, there's something else I want to do as well. Because of something I found when I was in um, one of those space-time freaky deekies. I'm pretty sure. Yes, he is. Actually, wait. I shouldn't do that until I check everything that Porygon needs. Okay. Uh, oh. Actually, goodness, I need to... Oh my god, I need to use tri attack 40 times?! Okay, so I'm going to put this back. Stop telling me that I'm using the GPU. No idea what it thinks it's getting out of telling me that all the time. Okay. Okay. Well, Murph, let's power you up some more. Hmm. <coughs> mm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, goodness. Okay. Um, let's go for attack. Uh, speed. Hmm. Let's see. Gotta raise hit points on a Munchlax. Okay, well, let's set you out front then, Jedi. Okay, uh, you're not gonna let me go back to town? Oh, for cracking ice, really? Okay, all right. Yeah, number of different forms you obtained, and you know, this isn't one of them. Let's return to the village because for some reason we can't we ha we have to go all the way back to the village instead of going to just the next area. Okay, yes, I want to Oh, well, they're gone now. Of course they are. Okay, well, you know what? And she's off! <laughs> okay, so what I want to do... If we're going up the mountain... She's on! <laughs> I love how they magically appear and disappear. Let's, let's go to the Coronet Highlands. And I hope I'm not overdressed. There you are, my girl. Welcome to the Coronet Highlands. You're a bit overdressed. I expect to find all sorts of rock-type and ground-type Pokemon wandering around these craggy, boulder-strewn heights. And up there, right beneath that great rift in space-time, is the peak of Mount Coronet itself. I can see the spear pillar from here. The magnetism from it way well exerts some sort of influence on the Pokemon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff. I can see our temple awaits. <laughs> and my aunt would say, you're styling, girlfriend. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I have. Oh, that reminds me. That reminds me I have found... The fieldlands rush by under hoof as Weird Ear carries me astride. Companions of mine run with us and Pokemon dash alongside. We come to stand where wind has swept and old days play before my eyes. The memories come running through, linking this place to times gone by. Time and space here blend together and unfold my heart as I remember. I'm thinking these were written by the hero. Once there was a god of field, and once there was a god of spring, upon Hisui's winds it wheeled, brought life to every growing thing. Where do you go when you were not here? I asked. I one day asked the god of spring. No answer would it give me clear, but still did I have an inkling. 
There is no great uh, truth untold. It simply does not like the cold. <laughs> I think I read this one too. Yeah, no clangs, claws nor fangs nor strength to claim. No man, man could hope to hold his own to mighty Pokemon. The bolts of light rained down one day. Ten times they fell, ten times struck true upon ten Pokemon. Then too weak man did these ten turn his strength to be, and all were blessed by loyal Pokemon. Were not these bolts gift to man? Were they not your almighty grace, great Sinnoh Paragon? <laughs> oh, hello there. I thought I, I thought I saw a face. Yeah, here's the problem. You're facing south. that guy trying to hint to me that I needed to do this, like, now? Uh, I would have picked up on it in this area. Ah! Okay, fine. You want to throw down? I will throw down. I've got I've got to use try attack like 40 times anyway. Oh, heavens to Betsy, look at that. Oh good, more medicinal leaks. I need them, I've been running out. Mm. <laughs> I was expecting to get, like, a big story scene before leaving, but I guess we got one, you know, b before we left the other area. The whole thing at the mountain and all that. Okay, now I see, you know, the the thing over there, but What really? Okay, well here's what we're gonna try anyway. Uh, okay, well we can try that. Oh no. Oh, come on, really? Oh, yep, it's snowing, all right. Oh, my dad's home. Hi, Dad! Mm. Ah, Murph. Murph, look at you. You're so huge. You're so huge and cute. <laughs> well, I mean, cute. Is is relative judgment, you know? It. Um... Oh, hey, check this action out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. You really wanna? Okay. Just Murph just snorts mud directly on the graveler. Hello there. Oh, wow, look at that. I'm gonna have to leap straight off of that, aren't I? Mm. <laughs> I am not, in fact, overdressed. So, awesome. Okay, I just want to get Jedi out front. Okay, 
All right. Okay, let's see here. Get, come on, keep walking! Sometimes I'll try to keep at a pace and she'll just slow down and I don't understand it. She'll slow down to like, a crawl. Okay, fine. There. Try this. Hopefully it'll make the... Yep, they have disappeared. Awesome, 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 awesome. Oh, really? Okay. Oh. Yes. Throw a great ball. Come on. <laughs> no, Mercury, thanks again for that, uh, that fan art. That was hilarious. I'll just call it a space cult. What little kid doesn't love space? <laughs> I mean, technically, I think it would be a, an apocalypse cult, but, you know, only Cyrus is really aware of that. <laughs> You know, the amazing part, you know, replaying bits and everything, is that he says, you know, entirely new world, like, multiple times. And I think he just kind of assumed everyone around him was going to take it metaphorically. <laughs> so he can't even really say that he lied to them. <laughs> I mean, not about that, necessarily. Because <laughs> I noticed, like, you know, coming right off of that, in Gen 5, Plasma talks about a new world, but with them it is metaphorical. It's just everyone else who's ever said that is meant like a New World Order sort of. Oh. <laughs> I'm liking this music. <laughs> okay, just a little while. There we go. Yeah, so I'm supposed to be heading towards that. <laughs> that was a new request that away. Oh, scaling perilous heights. Yep. Ah. Okay, so there's something in this area. There! Oh, goodness golly. What is it? What do we got? What do we got? Iron chunk times 10. Okay. Hey! Okay, I'm coming up on where I need to do this. No. Okay, so I do need to get down that way. 
My New Year's resolution was to draw at least once a month, so I might post more if any of my drawings are galactic related, and they probably will be awesome! Okay, th so there's the slope over this way. Look at how snow covered we all are already. Blue, come on. There, goodness. Ha, ah, there we go. One more time using try attack. Ah, oh, frickin' really? Already. Do you think I want to spoil the leprechaun? Yep. Okay. Fine. Whatever. I'm gonna head over on the rest of this side and see what's what. Because a lot of these, like, distant places have... Well, I guess this doesn't have a wisp. But a lot of them will. Wow, look at that. I'm just hanging out with the dragonflies. Gosh. I love Yon Mega. It's so cool. That's not the ball I wanted to hit it with. Oh my goodness! I, I didn't think that was going to work. <laughs> okay. 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 Nope. 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 Okay. Alright. Fine. Alright. Okay. Yikes. Dang nation. Uh, Crowley, go. Or Crowley. I don't know how I'm going to say your name. Let's see what we've got uh, down here. Uh, you. Yep. The electrode known as the Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the electrode I recall. But its electrical discharges are at least familiar. One false step around it could put you in danger. If you're going to face it, you might consider catching Pokemon that can withstand electricity. It must be difficult being a Pokemon, don't you think? Especially when it's irritable as Electrode. Weren't you in, like, your mid-twenties earlier? Now you're looking in your fifties. It's only been, like... Gosh. And becoming frenzied to boot? Oh goodness, who is this? 
It's a tough old life for Pokemon and humans alike. Is it Melly? There. Well, well, Warden Ingo of the Pearl Clan, and oh my, the Galaxy Team Grunt from before. You're punching well above your weight to seat out the great Electrode Lord of the Hollow. But, by the sheer tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. The greatest obstacle you'll ever face awaits you right here. Battle me if you dare. Absolutely not. I like to think that instead of... I'm just going... <laughs> huh. Well, then, let me take tell you the great Melly's take on this whole situation. The frenzy of our nobles is nothing other than a mark of Almighty Sido's favor and protection. Why? Because it makes them stronger. Do I really need to spell out? That's a good thing. We must let my lord frenzy as it may to demonstrate to Almighty Sido that the Diamond Clan lives as is right and good. This may even be, dare I say it, the very reason I am here on this earth. What business of it is it of the galaxy teams anyway if the Electrode lets loose a few sparks out here in the mountains? Really, you should do us all a favor and slink back home to that village of yours rather than persist in this folly. And with that, a bon voyage! What a selfish outlook. These frenzies cause the Pokemon themselves such suffering. But what is it you want to do, Mitsumi? Very well. The tracks will head will be perilous, but I pride myself on safe driving. I don't know why I keep talking like this. To meet Sneasler, Mitsumi, you must pass through here a wayward cave. Here you'll find Pokemon like Goldbat and their ilk, which are quite at home navigating in the dark. It's quite dim inside, so you'll need to watch your step. Go inside Wayward Cave. I can't just walk in. I have to select to walk in. Well, this is odd. The torches that light the way through the cave are gone. Could this be Melly attempting to obstruct us? Either way, there's no need for concern. I know my route, and I'll conduct us safely. No darkness or foul weather will delay us! Onward we roll! Take, not to, take care not to come uncoupled from me. I recall faintly that I had a partner once. A precious one. Oh my god, you don't even remember your brother! My god. Name escapes me. I remember that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not your brother. I think we're here. I'm sure it would light the way, luring us onward. P please forgive the unscheduled stop. I detect an alpha crowbat to our right. Under normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would have struck someone so confident as you. But given the poor visibility, I propose a track change in the interest of safety. Please follow me. Take care not to come uncoupled from me. I'm starting to recall a man who looked like me. We'd battle and discuss Pokemon, I think. You don't remember your brother! The words, I like winning more than anything else, flashed through my mind just now. I'll s soon be arriving at Wayward Cave's exit. Even if the memories themselves have faded, it appears much still lives on in my heart. This is fine progress. We're nearly home free. Wait, could those be... The torches! Let me put those torches back where they belong. This darkness could be perilous for the next person to pass through here. Am I going to have to save you from Croat? Oh. I beg your pardon for the delay. I have lit and returned the torches. My safety concerns have been addressed. Ready for departure. If you follow the track marked by torches, you'll reach the terminus of this cave.
But, you know, I want to see what's up here. Ooh, a gibble. Damn it. Really? Come on. Okay, fine. Fine. Wait, there, there was like something over here. Ooh, ooh, much likes can evolve. But... Oh, of course. Uh, no, no, no. Come on. Oh, and I might as well just start chucking balls at it. It's just injury, I'll don't fret. <laughs> I keep seeing something silvery. Get yeah, see you see it, right? Oh, maybe it's just a seam in the art. Okay, so that just leads back to where we were. Um. Hold on a second. Oh, okay. Just new request. I'm not seeing Diamond Clan or anything like that. Mm. Because I want to go. I want to go find the settlement, you know? Huh, there's got to be one, right? There's got to be some sort of... Because, you know, we went to the Pearl Settlement, yeah? No, 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 it was... It's the Pearl Settlement that I need to find. It's the Diamond Settlement we already went to. That's what I need to find. This is what I want to do. Okay, I've only used it 12 out of 40 times. Um, okay, Munchlax. Where be Munchlax? You know, I noticed some of these have like a... Um, I want to check something on Typhlosion really quick. Okay, I only have to use Flamethrower a few more times before I can get rid of it. Um, no. Some of these are in, like, first person. And it's really interesting. Come on. 
It drifts along at dusk, perfectly silent. Its transient, melancholy aspect touches some people deeply. Every so often, one will come across a song or poem devoted to drift bloom. Yeah, like this. I suspect this fusion, fusion is an effect of the energy involved in evolution. Okay, Munch Life's what do you need? Oh. Okay. Okay, I guess that means we can just evolve you now. All that stuff is about... I mean, I guess I could just use rest a whole bunch of stuff, but... <laughs> no freaky glowing eyes this time? There we go. Oh yeah, that's right. That is an alpha. So how big... I mean, Snorlax is already pretty big. So, I honestly can't tell if that's much bigger. <laughs> Professor Laventon told me how you fell to this land from the sky. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Hisui, a region whose name I'd never heard. All I could remember was my own name. I was still standing there in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural for affinity for taming Pokémon, which is why I eventually became a warden. But I still wonder what my true purpose is here. Ah, but now I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onward! Ingo? Where'd you Ingo? <laughs> Sidex, really? Oh, okay. Let me throw it. Wasn't expecting to see one of you here. Well, I mean, in this game, but not here, here. Ooh, some wood. Ah, I see a wisp. I see a wisp. Aha! Getting cross poison in my butt. Uh -huh. Zen headbutt. What? Oh, come on, really? It's kind of blipped into existence, huh? Oh, there's another one. Yep, yep. It's gonna try to make me do a bunch of jumping. Okay, I gotta get over this way. Okay, so I got more Stantler up ahead. That's nice. 
No, uh, okay, well, I guess there's... Oh, that's pretty darn quick. Candy truffle. I lost my wording charm. Wording charm R, okay. Of course I did. Come on. Yeah, you wanna face me? Come face me, huh? Come in. Come on, bro. Yeah. That's what I thought. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think you- No, stop it! Excuse me? From a parasect? I think this is the first time I fainted. That wasn't in, like, a battle. Freaking hell, seriously? You really going to do me like that? I really got to go back all this way and go through the cave again, huh? Really? I don't understand either. I mean, like, I was rolling, and it wouldn't register that I was rolling. And I swear I only got hit twice. Usually I can take, you know, several hits. Uh, gotta go through the whole thing again. Of course. Okay. We have a new mission. I call it Operation Burnt Mushroom. All this time I'm using Jedi, and I'm not actually, like, using him for the purpose I should be. Really? The It's not here? Hm. I wanted to to check out that Alpha Crobat. Which, yes, is probably a fool's errand considering everything that just happened, but goodness it does this it won't let you call out your Pokemon 
for like a little bit. <sighs> oh yeah, now I gotta deal with a parasect. Frickin' parasect of all the things. You making me lose my items? Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Oh, okay, it won't actually let me readjust my aim. Okay, let's throw an Ultra Ball, catch that hair across. Fire punch! There we go. Freaking smart ass. What? Why did it say that it couldn't be caught? It did not give me the red eyeball yet. So I don't know why it was telling me that I couldn't catch it. No, stop resetting. Like I said, the menu in this game is just bizarre. The, the decisions they made as far as drawing up the menu are just plain strange. Come on. Yeah, I know you grew enraged. Uh huh. Okay, and what we're going to do. And another one. Gonna keep running. I'm gonna keep on a running. No, you don't. Don't shoot freaking dare. Get your items back. Okay, come on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I was trying to sneak up. Okay, fine. Okay, I saw some sparkling. But I'm not seeing it now. Maybe it was just like the sparkling inside the cave. Because it doesn't look like any shinies, which, you know, goodness knows, I know what a shiny looks like in the field. <laughs> Ah, I got more 
stuff up this way. I keep seeing so many muffins around. Is this some sort of weird attempt to make muffin popular? Okay, so since I just need to get on the other side of this field. Hmm. Come on. Fight me, bro. Coming up on another tunnel. This will be interesting. Uh, yep, there's Ingo and Melly again. I get more out of it when I defeat them with flying type moves anyway. Here's my. What's the big idea of putting back all the torches I spent ages tidying away? To get some sort of amusement stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh, rendering a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. Huh. Well, this just goes to show that even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. I extinguish those lights for the sake of the Pokemon in that cave who prefer the dark. But now you louts have put my efforts to waste. If you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electrode, you're sorely mistaken. The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokemon. How will you proceed, Mitsumi? Okay. If you hadn't told me this yesterday, I would have been extremely shocked. <laughs> Is blindsiding. <laughs> oh, okay. This is, you, is this what you were talking about when you said that people think Melly is related to Jupiter? Go, Skun Tank! Show those louts the true meaning of silent but deadly. <laughs> Okay, Crowley. The music we got going. Says I could send out my choke, but how in the heck are you avoiding all these attacks? How am I? Frickin' finally! Listen here. Neither I nor Skuntank admit defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. However, 
I will withdraw will withdraw to afford Skun Tank time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an advantage if you think about it. Keep your guard up. We'll be back. Frickin' losers. What a lively character. I cannot fathom more than Millie's intentions, but for now, let us press on. Okay, what's this place called? Just, okay. Because I was getting it up in the corner, but... Okay, ancient quarry. This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple up top this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one, or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left behind should serve to cover us from the gazes of wild Pokemon. Ah, there you are, Ingo. You just know everyone, don't you? Volo, was it? What is the matter, sir? I wanted to ask about that memory loss of yours. Have you considered that it could have been somehow caused by the space-time rift? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's foremost on everyone's minds, Volo. I have no cause to think the rift is to blame, but then again I hardly remember a thing, so it's difficult to say with certainty. I can't remember my own home, nor my family, if I had any. So, you might do better to pose your questions to Mitsumi, I think, if it's to do with that rift. Indeed. Well, I do hope your memories return, Warden Ingo. How about you, then, Mitsumi? Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of that rift? Was there anything inside? Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect whatever's on the other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us. Indeed. I did some digging and found records indicating that the same space-time rift also appeared in Hisui in the distant past. Are we in a repeating time loop? That's why we already had a name for it, as it appeared, in fact. Now... What kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? My guess is that it is Almighty Sinnoh's realm. But then that begs the question! Why is the space-time rift reopened when it closed once so long ago? And why would Mitsumi have fallen through to us? There's just so much we don't know. I fervently hope you unravel this mystery, Volo. I'm sure it would ease people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And while you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Oh, I'm a mere admirer of ruins and little more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust that task to Mitsumi. Until next time, then. leaving. You're not even going... Once we're through here, it would be just a little further. Let us move with spade, but not haste. you are. Oh!
There we go. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um, hello. Just came out of nowhere, didn't you? you let me do? Drift's the new Shira reboot. I don't know why, but Melee gives me double trouble vibes. No, I haven't actually. I uh, I have vague memories of the original. Oh. Drop. <laughs> it's awfully well lit in here. Like, really well lit. Da ha! Kaboom! Hmm, did I just see something up top there? And when the camera switched, I thought I saw a little purple light. I did. Well, that means I'm going to be able to get up there at some point, so that's good. Hmm. Now, when Ingo was saying that he doesn't know if the temple was built by humans and Pokemon working together or just Pokemon was he implying that they could have made it without the aid of any humans at all or just the actual construction part because honestly that's a pretty big thing to ponder You see that up there. Yay! Get some of these fat beans. There are some just very great things about the reboot. Awesome, highly recommend. It has some great villains. Well! <laughs> There are 17 wisps remaining in this area. So, one of the things I remember about the original is that uh, Shira was originally a villain, but then it turned out she was, like, being mind-controlled or something. Did they do that in this version, or did they just skip over that part? Oh dear. Because technically she was a villain on the He-Man series. And then it was revealed, oh wait, that's actually your twin sister. But I don't think he's in this version, is he? He got his own reboot and apparently it was 
a, well, I've heard mixed things. I've heard either it was bad, or it's not bad, it was just a bait and switch. Because he's not actually the main character of it. <laughs> I don't have space in my satchel for what? I don't know why you keep thinking I want those. No, they didn't do that. Yeah, I kind of figured they would skip over that if they're if they don't have that whole element of the show. <laughs> What's this? Jubilife muffin. Okay, that's right. I think I accidentally invented poffins with a guy from Galler. Oh, what was it? I think it was Galler. Yeah, he was trying to make like homemade the home style muffins or something and it and like it came out weird because he couldn't get the same ingredients okay God, all my Pokemon are going to be just, like, swole by the time I get done with them. Oh, yeah. I, I should finish. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. Hey, that's the other one who looks like Cynthia, isn't it? The one with the, the hair flippies, right? Yeah. Oh, no! Eshim! That's a new name on me! That's not your name back in town, it's like Tully or something. I came here since I heard you were all planning to set up a camp. But it seems not much progress has been made since that bronze ore is getting in the way. It's one bronze ore! It's not belligerent, but it seems like it wants something, so we can't just ignore it either. Please, could you think you could find out what it is bronze ore wants? Bronze ore wants a freaking beatdown. No, no, I shouldn't be rude. It's just Parasect that I'm going to lay a beatdown on. Find out what bronze ore wants. Does it does Bronzer even know what Bronzer wants? Zar. You wanna go across the river? You can't float? Dazzling honey. Oh, okay. <laughs> Were you being menaced by this gold duck? Come on, we have to work on your defensive capabilities. I can't keep shelling out every time you get knocked out, okay? You know, revives cost money. Money I don't freaking have. Yay! Sure. 
Sore. Scissor! Sore. I saw a bronzer go flying off in this direction all of a sudden. What in the... That bronzer! It's wounded! This is no good at all. Here, I'll fix it right up. There. That should do it. Bronzer should be fit as a fiddle now. Sore. Scissor! Seems the bronzer at the new campsite was looking for its friend this whole time. Glad you looked into it. Otherwise, we may have been too late to treat this bronzer. I just want to know how. This land is dangerous, even for the Pokemon that call it their home. It may be wise to be extra prepared as you explore this area. Be sure to keep a fine lineup of wares stocked for you, so please buy anything that you need. Let's use the base campus, but I'll set up while we were talking. In which case, I should get settled in as well. So long! A space time gift on Mount Coronet. I just... You know... Been here before. In disturbingly similar circumstances. There's the other camp. When I was here before, couldn't look me in the eye. <laughs> Who keeps putting these in my bag? These keep throwing me off. They look like an item. They are not. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I could find some freaking salt and I could give it to Tao Hua. And he wasn't such a dick about everything. I want to find out what happened between them. <laughs> See, I need crunchy salt, and I don't know where to get crunchy salt. Smooth jazz in the background. So I want to write fanfic about those two eventually. <laughs> if the game tries to make me go that way. I'm not going that way until it's done. Uh. 
seriously. I see some sparklies over here. See, that's how it looks when I see a shiny Pokemon. Like, it's that same kind of sparkle, but it's walking around. You would never expect to be able to climb such sheer cliffs as these, yes? But with Sneasler as an ally, it becomes the work of a moment. She is so at home on cliff face, one might think she knew some secret, some hidden move. What am I saying? Hidden move? There are no such things in Hisui, surely. Yet, I feel as though I was on the cusp of remembering something just now. Who was I before I came to Hisui? If you fell from the sky, you came from another world altogether, most likely. Perhaps a Pokemon battle with you would jog this memory loose. Would you honor me with a battle, Mitsumi? All aboard, then! Matruk, prepare for departure! I don't know why I'm giving him this really overly precise message of speaking. Rolling right up, huh? Do -do 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 -do. Oh, okay, here we go. Did you get to attack right away? Okay, I've got to have used Flamethrower enough times by now. Yeah, I know it has... It lost its fervor for using Rollout. Rollout's supposed to be a multi-turn move, and it's not doing it. Does that mean it just really wants me to tell it to use the move repeatedly? Okay. 
Bye bye. Bravo! Excellent! Your talent has brought you to the destination called Victory! Now, allow me to call Sneasler. We use this tune for everything. I don't know how they tell the difference. Yeah. Looks kind of superhero-y, you know? Allow me to introduce you, Mitsui. This keen clawed Pokemon is Sneasler. Would you be so kind as to play your flute for her to hear? Frickin' tall, my goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness. Sneasler, open her heart and learn to well the sound of your playing. Poison type. The essence of poison. I should probably be wearing gloves. I'm afraid this is my final stop. Please proceed up the cliffs with Sneasler's aid and quell the lord up in the mountains. I will return to Jubilee Village. Please convey my well wishes to Warden Melly. Now then, all aboard! <laughs> Yay. Oh my goodness, do I sit in the basket? I'm gonna Princess Garnet myself. I'm just eyes! I'm just eyes! Getting awfully close. Lamberclaw Cliffs. And I gotta get all the way over there, huh? But I'm getting up to the top. We know what that means. <laughs> Ride Pokemon is so funny and Sneasler is so cool. Oh my goodness. I don't have a Gligar yet, do I? Do I? <laughs> We go. Ah, I got crunchy salt. Okay, so I get salt from the cliffs.
of course it's not gonna freaking give up. Why can't I attack? That doesn't make any sense! Goodness gracious. This is going to be an interesting place to look for, uh, to look for, um, wisps. Hi, buddy. Distortion faded. Good. I'm not going that way if it's there. Rick. Okay, what? Huh? Okay. You want to tell me why I couldn't get out of that on my own? What the hell is that? Oh! It's a magneton. Oh, hey. Have you beaten the game yet, Mercury? Really? Well, that's a hell of a draw distance, but... Hmm, this might be the best way to do it. Aha! <laughs> Will it work? Yeah! I'm just a Pokemon. I'm actually right where you are, but I'll advise my spoilers up to the last noble Pokemon after that. I have no clue what happens. Okay. It 
it looks like I was just coming up on an interesting area. I saw a statue of Dialga. Oh, I can go up these two. Oh, oh, wow. I caught it on the butt. Come in. Yay. Oh my. Um Is something stuck in the box? Ah, there we go. Hello the pirate one. How you doing? How you doing today? Let's get a great ball in there. So how you doing, bro? What brings you by? <laughs> you gonna say for my stomach? Oh yeah. Oh, I hope your stomach feels better soon. Let's let's try a tackle. Oh no, I didn't want to knock it out. Darn it. Those out too. Okay, I'm gonna have to invest in some of these. Jeez, mm. I wish I could make more of them right now. I mean, I'm sure I can make a few. Yeah, I can make a few, but I can only make one. Okay. I need to go grind up some. Saying I need to grind up some leeks makes it sound like I'm gonna do some cooking, huh? Check this out. It's a statue of... Yes, I am! Yes, I am in fact the voice of Tara in the Rabtoon videos. <laughs> it's a statue of a Pokemon with an air of the divine. Ancient people must have worshipped it. Awesome. Oh, and there's Palkia over here.
So what brings you to my channel then? <laughs> Are you here from my advertising on the Rabtoon server? It's a statue of a Pokemon with an air of the divine. Ancient people must have worshipped it. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're from Crane's server! Awesome! Yeah, I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna be a few role, I'm, I'm, I've mostly just been cast as, like, NPCs in the, um, this, whoa, 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 there's a different one, okay, which one of you is it? I'm mostly just NPCs in the, um, uh, Echo S dub. Um, but in the one for FF8 that they're doing, um, I'm going to be Flo, the old lady from Fisherman's Horizon, and also Adele, but they're going to be do, doing something really weird with her voice, so I can't really tell you how that's going to end up sounding. <laughs> More recently for Rabtoons, you'll hear me as Emmerich in uh, the FF14 parodies. I'm also Connie Senna, but she doesn't seem to have as big of a role. And of course, the magnificent voice of Garuda! <laughs> 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 Gerda got like three lines, but it was hilarious. I love when I get to play a character that's really over the top like that. <laughs> I do need to go this way after all. Oh my goodness. Oh, Lordy Lou, look at this land. Are you a big Pokemon fan? You know, as, as with even with like my voice acting, and as much as I love Pokemon, I've only been in one real um, fan dub or, like, fan project of it. Oh, Arizu asked me for one of these. <laughs> Actually, my first... Oh, wow! But I was in a short-lived um, anime abridged um... where I was the voice of joy. By short-lived, I mean we only ever did two episodes. Well, yeah, but yeah, but just doing Mars's voice in as I play doesn't really count. <laughs> Although I would really like to do that voice in something else, you know, I I just I like this voice and it's really fun to do. <laughs> Okay, mischievous. There we go. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't want a heavy ball.
Dun, dun, dun. I saw a mischievous over there, and I would like to be able to go back and look. Okay, I think that's it. Lurk. All right. Yeah, I don't really have any lurk commands or any other commands, but... You know. Still pretty neat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it just kind of just makes me smile. It makes me smile too. Okay. Come on, catch. Our Izzy wants to see you. Yes. Okay. if I could just freaking climb Coronet tonight. Oh, there's more salt! Okay, and you know what? Okay. Oh, I have to use an Agile style move. Okay, but that's fine. Okay, change moves. Infernal Parade. How's that? Yes. I hate using overheat, though. Aha! Looky here. This just kind of seems like I'm a person in a costume, though. I wonder how many Sneezlers I'm going to see at KimoriCon this year. I swear there's an achievement for catching those in the daytime. <laughs> uh. Okay, well if I'm right next to something... Okay. okay, Infernal Parade! Let's try this. I can't help but wonder... The Japanese name of that, perhaps Black Parade, or is it just called Infernal Parade? Ah, I see some more leaks. Ah, interessant. Okay, I was wondering what that green thing was, but... Hey, you know what? I have three salts now. Means I can finally go back to Taohua. <laughs> I 
once I get a travel point on my map. My dad's singing in the shower. <laughs> I can hear him down the hallway. Welcome to Moonview Arena, the seat of Lord Electrode. I know I'm not exactly been supportive of you reaching this place, but a part of me did hope you'd make it. You know, I should probably say this is the same voice I used for Aerith. <laughs> I guess being a guardian of some ancient power while somehow sounding like a valley girl is uh, par for the course for me. Call me contradictory all you like, Galaxy Grunt, but such is life. Calling me a grunt, how prescient. And pricing the complexity of both ourselves and the world can only help us grow. As a member of the Diamond Clan, my highest calling is to please Almighty Sinnoh. And right now, that means I must protect my lord by stopping you where you stand. If you still wish to defeat me and gain entry to Electrode's seat, you and your little Pokemon are welcome to give it your best shot. Let's go, Skuntank. Give him another whiff of your silent deadliness. If you keep making fart references, I really don't think the other wardens are going to take you seriously. I feel like they already don't, considering you, like, sneer at them all. W w Hello? Oh, frick! <laughs> Are these all of your Pokemon, Melly? Or... I love how they just calmly turn in place to face whoever's attacking them. Again? You're attacking again? How? Really? Okay, well, Skun Tank's down, and that's the heaviest hitter. But now, for some reason, it's focusing on Zubat. Okay, there we go. make one thing clear. I didn't lose. You may have won, but there's a difference. I just lacked uh, time. Yeah, I'm afraid there simply wasn't enough time for me to raise my Pokemon nice and strong. You have lived in this world considerably longer than I have, both in that you're older than me and... Ah, could this be why Adamant is always going on and on about time being a precious thing? My word. The Diamond Clan and Almighty Sinnoh truly are never-ending founts of wisdom. Isn't it fonts of wisdom? Yes, yes, I know what comes next. You want to know what pleases Lord Electrode so you can make some balms for it. Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you on account of I don't want to. Because I've completely forgotten what Electrode likes. Yeah. You're just not taken seriously, are you? What's the matter? Upset? Too bad anger doesn't make balms. Melly's really giving you the runaround, isn't he, Mitsumi? <sighs> I 
I guess it's my fault for not telling you in advance what Electrode likes. So here's the... Ah! Adamon! What now? I could hear you just now, you know. Are you really gonna tell this little noodle what she needs to find just like that? Let's all, for let's all forget you're the leader of the Diamond Clan. Why do you bother with these galaxy louts? Use your eyes, Melly. Haven't you even looked at your frenzied lord? Don't you even feel a twinge at how it suffers fighting to control the energy that's bursting out of it? I see nothing but a Pokemon ever come with joy at being among almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Anyway, it's not like trials and suffering are always cause for doom and gloom. These things exist to help us grow. Uh, I'm sorry, Melly. I can't write off these frenzies as some trial from Almighty Sinnoh. So I'm doing the best I can to help out Mitsumi here. This is bigger than what team or clan we belong to. Oh, and by the way, I wasn't just going to tell her that she needs crunchy salt. I was going to go right ahead and give it to her. <laughs> now it's time to make some palms, so lend a hand, both of you. Uh, fine. At the end of the day, let none say that the great Melee shirked his duties as warden. I'll help you make your precious bombs. <sighs> there. I made her a practically infinite supply of bombs, so chuck all you like at Electrode. But don't underestimate my lord's strength. I very much doubt the likes of you can quell it. <sighs> These bomb things do smell pretty delightful. I mean, they smell like salt, but... Mm. So, if it knowing you're doomed to fail, you still wish to pitch yourself against Electrode. Well, I'm not ready to... Okay, fine. I'll say I'm ready, and then I'll just heal up. If a great man will deal more pluck than you have sense, I'll give you that. A word of advice, don't stop moving while you're battling Electrode, or you'll be dead in no time. No, no, let me, let me heal first! Heal first! No! Please. Oh. Okay. Um. Whoa, wow. I can keep high horsepower. That's that's way better than tackle. Why did I bring Crowley? This Reese Balm that gives off a soothing scent. It can be used to help the gar calm the frenzy of the Lord of the Hollow Electrode. Ah, uh, frick, 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 I can see what they mean now!
Okay. Barrazo is still up front. Flamethrow. Oh, super effective. That's right. That's right, because it's because it's a grass type. Yikes. It's this thing I'm mostly concerned with. Twice. Really? Frickin' no, 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 Really? Why does it even bother showing to get the, showing them getting back up? Yes, that's what I've been doing. Yes. No, I... I'm trying to freaking avoid this thing. No! This. No! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Okay, Murph, use high horsepower. Okay. Come on, Murph, you can do it. Oh no! Not energy ball! Frick. Okay. Um. Uh, Chimborazo, try fire again. Hopefully, yeah. Come on, 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 It's a different color now. Uh, 
Oh no. There's three. There's three. There's three. There's three. There's three. Why didn't why didn't Machoke uh, Why didn't it send out Machoke? I don't understand. No! Why did you slow down? Why did you suddenly slow down? This is what keeps happening. I don't I don't get it. She'll just suddenly slow down in the middle of keeping a pace. No! No, let me dodge. Let me dodge. Why can't I get away? Understand. Okay, okay, Thunder Wave, I can do this. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty wildly myself after that. <laughs> Zap plate? Yes! And the essence of electricity. I come to the conclusion I just really suck at noble fights. I would have died at least five times. I keep losing control. I don't know what it is. Oh, for shame. What utter calamity. I agreed to make those accursed balms, yes, but now that Almighty Sinner's precious blessing has vanished forever, it's just so unbearably sad. Is that how you see it? Electrode looks relieved to me. Glad its suffering's ended, probably. Oh, come on, Adam, and seriously? That's just your wishful thinking, nothing more. I hope preaching doesn't ruffle me one bit, but if Almighty Sinnoh grows angry with me because of this, I don't know what I'll do. I arrive! Right on schedule! Now what did you bother coming back for? Only to say that I recalled some things after Mitsumi did me the honor of traveling with me. Things to do with a world where I believe I lived before my memories were lost. Many people, most people there caught Pokemon, lived with them, formed supportive partnerships with them. And then there were the Pokemon trainers. The ones we called Pokemon trainers were truly devoted to their craft. They always looked towards the next challenge and had Pokemon battles every chance they got, all to help themselves and their Pokemon grow. Through battle, traitors formed bonds of understanding with their Pokémon, and with their opponents and their Pokémon, too. With everything, I suppose. If Pokémon and people work together, we can forge new paths forward. We'll be lost to history if we go on believing only Pokémon can be strong, or if we go on fearing them instead of understanding them. Interesting. 
Does your old like Ingo describe to me? Um, I'd never thought such a world could exist. Oh, once again, the brilliant warden Melly has realized something rather clever. It's not just my Pokemon that need to be strong, it's me as well. The greater my valor and might, the more my Pokemon can reach their potential. I wonder if all my Dusino will be pleased once I've achieved exactly that. Hi, Adaman. Share with me again the wisdom of Almighty Sinnoh passed down among our clan. All right. All right. Open your ears, shut that big mouth, and listen well, my friend. Give not into sorrow. Give not into anger. Offer only friendship to those around you. Give not into sorrow. Give not into anger. Bring not Almighty Sinnoh to sorrow. For that is what times that is when times flow will cease. And there you have it. Bravo! Excellent! Please, all of you, do your best and run towards the destination, an even higher state. You might call it an empire state. Of course, your higher state is clear, Mitsumi. It surely lies with the next lord. Now, this time I really will make the complete return trip to Jubilife Village. Perhaps with someone like Mitsumi to show that Pokemon need not be feared, the people of Hisui will find new tracks forward. Now, begging your pardon, I owe Commander Komodo my report. Until next time, Mitsumi. I never understand, like, half of what that guy's talking about. Can we find a way to honor our past while also forging for a better future? Maybe that's what Almighty Sido really wants from us. After all, it rules over all time. And it created everything there is. They ready to shield your eyes, Galaxy Grunt. Stop calling me that! It's a bigger insult than you know! <laughs> I'm going to polish up both myself and Electrode until our strength and brilliance are blinding. Can I just... Oh, of course. It won't let me... Okay, so let's me warp to Moonview Arena. Stone Portal. It probably won't let me go there just yet, because that is the summit. I feel so impressed and impressive. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I want to try something. Uh, nothing's in here, huh? Oh, okay. It's just more of that stuff. Oh, 
I remember you saying at some point this wasn't a true open world. What's the difference between this and, say, Breath of the Wild? Well, Breath of the Wild, once you, like, get past the tutorial, you can go anywhere. Like, anywhere, anywhere. You see something off in the distance, you can make a mad dash to it. But this game is segmented into different areas. So it's more like Monster Hunter, where it does like open arenas like this. Where like you'll travel to different areas and those areas will be big and vast, but they won't, you know, you'll be you'll be stuck in those areas. And there's usually, like, a hub that you re return to on a regular basis. Stuff like that. I haven't played a whole lot of Monster Hunter. But, um... Yeah, it's that same kind of general general thing <laughs> come on you want to try and take me <laughs> Uh huh. Yeah, not very effective. How about that, huh? Oh, it's more salts. I need to grab some. Oh. No, 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 no. Yeah, Breath of the Wild is really fun and, like, you can just head straight to the final boss right after you finish the tutorial. I've never actually done so. More salt for the salty boys, yeah. You know, it's probably a good thing that, like, Electro doesn't have blood pressure, because... I, I mean, I assume it doesn't have blood pressure. Because its favorite, its favorite treat was salt, and that can't be good. <gasps> curp, curp, curp. And corpse and corpse and corpse. Really? Oh, rip. times it was really strong that's what the rumors say but they're probably wrong but now it's so weak the weakest in the land so weak that it's sad really really sad <laughs> It's like ions for electricity somehow. Yeah. 
but but that way Across a canyon, no, go down, down, please, down, please. Okay, I guess it's not really as bad from here. This is going to turn out to be some incredibly enormous revelation that's going to reshape the entire franchise, isn't it? <sighs> oh, hey, look at that. I got a metal coat. just know it. It's going to be something absolutely earth-shattering, isn't it? And it had better be amazing. I've heard people talk about the ending as being, like, stunning, like, shocking. But... You know, uh, very fortunately, I haven't heard any actual spoilers other than, oh my god. I assume you, you know, go to the Hall of Origin at some point. Which is something we've never officially seen, is it? I mean, like, it was coded into the game, but they never did the event for it. Because they thought, for some reason, asking people to bring an item to the Spear Pillar, so a place you go during regular gameplay, was somehow too much for people? Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that stop motion Steelix in the background there. <laughs> and, uh, uh, Chimeco. No, no. Oh, God. No, oh, no. No, no. This is not what I'm here for. Heh. Okay. Sore on my forehead today. How was your day today, by the way, Mercury?
I went out to lunch. I got some pho. Which, you know, don't tell my dietitian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. I would like to rest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, there was oh that's right, I needed to get the salt. Let me grab those beans right quick. few other things. Spoiled apricorns, really. I see you've got 11 Pokemon. Can I report your findings? It's easy to make some new observations. Let's have a look then. Most illuminating. All of data our Pokedex is with new data. The vines impart a refreshing sensation when chewed. They're useful as a spice. You quell Lord Electra. Splendid job as always, my girl. Let's let's be off to the village then. Time to report to Commander Commodo. Last time I was here, he gave me a really creepy speech. So, um... I haven't had my picture taken once. Okay, let's see. I wish there's a way I could just look really quickly to see what new items she has. Well, she's going to have one patterned after Electrode, isn't she? Oh, no, Sneasler. Oh. Ah, well, she's got both of them. Ah, yes, I shall. Hmm. There we go. Okay. And I have... About your request. You know... People are afraid of mischievous because of how it wa apparently wails at night. But I think getting a good look at it like this really gives me some fresh perspective. Look how it billows and sways and flows. Wait, that's it. That's what I'll do. Wow, I just thought of some charming hairstyles and an enchanting new palette of colors. 
All thanks to you and Mischievous here. Come by any time and try out my new ideas for yourself. Is this where I can get galactic cuts? Cool, I got one in the other room here. A nose pass to guide the way. Of course, Gully needs help. Oh my god. Gully's one of those frequent requesters. So Warden Melly believes that the frenzies of these Pokémon are but some sort of trial set by Almighty Sinnoh. We cannot know if that is the case or not, but it does beg the question. Why ever would this Almighty Sinnoh drive the nobles to frenzy? Is it angered by something? Or does it seek to drive a wedge between people and Pokémon? Well... Far be it from us humans to fathom the thoughts of Pokémon. What is that space-time rift anyway? What caused it to open? Hmm. But you must be tired. Go on then, to the Wallflower. Get some rest while you can. I instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato mochi. I don't want potato mochi! I need vegetables or I'm going to die of constipation! Alright, it's evening now. Do we wait an entire day? Dinner's on Commodore tonight. Eat your fill. Wh what an enticing aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. This is generous for the boss. Well, I've heard talk that our progress surveying Pokemon has made gathering ingredients a less onerous, or at least da less dangerous, task. Can we talk about how you've gone from being some nobody from nowhere to basically be the hero of Hisui? Indeed! Taking on such perilous duties has earned you a great deal of trust, Mitsumi. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. You really thought I was wise, did you? I think Ray's expression there kind of sums it up. You let your actions do the speaking for you, Mitsumi. The message is clear as day. It doesn't matter one whit where you came from. You're part of the Survey Corps in Jubilee Village now. Okay, who's gonna come at me now? Isn't it nice getting up early? <laughs> is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you can do with the day. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities, such as responding to Commander Commodore's invitation today in a timely manner. <sighs> well, I got that same invitation, and I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Come on, no need to grouse so much over a nice little early wake-up. Are you coming too? I'm sure we can all guess what the commander wants with us. Yes, do come. Galaxy Call is quite close anyway. Ah. You now quelled the frenzy of four nobles. When word of these frenzies arrived from all over Hisui, I figured what would become of us. But here we are, already preparing to quell the final novel! Oh my god, am I... I mean, oh, 
Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I would have dreamed some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation. Life never does stop surprising you. Ah. The only lord left to be quelled is Avalug, which lives in the Alabaster Icelands. He's also the largest of the nobles, according to what Irida told me. Your mission is to quell Avalug, the final lord. Perhaps in doing so, we may trigger some change in the space-time rift as well. Avalug may be the Pro Clan's noble, but my clan and the Galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this too, for the sake of a brighter future. Let us all meet in the cold reaches of the Alabaster Icelands. Until then! <sighs> I just got myself a new outfit. I have to put my snow clothes back on. No matter how many of these frenzied Pokemon you may quell, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No small number of people still regard you with suspicion and distrust. Well, there's Melly and there's, like, you. You are the only person that I'm hearing this from because Melly's kind of a special case. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many people, and to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. <gasps> oh my fucking god, she's afraid of bugs. The very first thing I think of is there something that would make Cyrus freak out like this? Yeah, bro, teleport this world outside at once! <clears throat> you saw absolutely nothing. So. Survey the Alabaster Icelands next. I'm serious, you saw nothing. This is the most treacherous climb you'll face in all history. Absolutely nothing, you hear me. It would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the Survey Corps I can task with surveying the Alabaster Icelands. Although, Laventon is going to show up there for no reason anyway. You know your orders. See your mission through. Did that scene serve any purpose at all? <laughs> what in the fuck? Why are we suddenly in a haze? Hello again. Would you do me a quick little favor? Don't worry. It's very simple. Can you bring me a hundred medicinal leaks? <whistles> it's leaks are well known for growing practically all over the region. They're also called Wayfarer's Friends. Knowing you, I bet you could gather a hundred of them in your sleep. Once you have a hundred minutes of the leaks you can spare for me, please do bring them on. Bye. I was just saying earlier. about how I'm running very low on medicinal leaks. 
Hey, what's that Pokemon up there? What's its name? What's it do? Magikarp? Why is it called a Magikarp? Is it a cool Pokemon? Is it strong? Can it fly? I can't fly. Or does Effie thinks it's wings? Tell me, tell me. Tell me more, please. Please. Are you gonna learn, go learning about Magikarp, right? Can you tell me when you're all done with its page in your Pokédex? I feel as though I've been conned. Now... I want to draw something to your attention here, Mercury. I ran across this when I was playing. You do know about Commander Commodo, right? You know that he has no home to return to? Something is going on with that man. That combined with that weird speech. Oh, also I figured out this guy's Gardenia's ancestor. <laughs> okay, oh, god damn. Uh, let's go medicinal harvest, yeah. I'm telling you, Burmy is the Pokemon with a cloak made of leaves. No, no, Burmy cloaks are like made of minerals like sand and rock. I'm quite sure of it. <sighs> if it ain't covered in trash, it ain't a Burmy. Ah, this conversation is getting us nowhere. You both sure you've actually seen a Burmy so before? It wasn't some other Pokemon. I might ask you the same thing. <laughs> I've seen Burmy here this week. I've seen it back in my own region, too. And guess what? They're all covered in trash. Oh my, you must have gotten confused, my dear. Please, both of you, we're just reading the same arguments over and over at this point. Hey, you're from the Survey Corps, aren't you? We could figure out which one of us is pretty right pretty quick if someone brought us an actual Burby. Catch one and it comes out. <sighs> okay. Okay, well, I have all three of them. Yep, this is Burmy, all right. It's similar to your, I'll grant you that, but this must be a different species. Yeah, I ain't buying it. This ain't a Burmy. That's real okay. I can't convince these two. I guess we look at the fake Burmy, too. Yeah. And... <laughs> Just hang in there in midair. Take a good look, both of you. This little one is real Burmy. Ah, it looks pretty similar, but there's no way this is Burmy. You gotta agree, where's this trash at, huh? Honestly, how can someone still be in doubt after seeing a real Burmy right up close? I suppose we need to compare it to those false Burmy to prove the point. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's just those two were so close to each other. Okay. <laughs> what kind of trash is that supposed to be? Ah, oh, no, that's a Burmy and no mistake. I don't know about that. Indeed, this Pokemon is no Burmy. Well, we've all seen each other's supposed real Burmy. We're no closer to agreeing on anything. Uh, nothing else for it, except for Professor Lavington's side. The Burmy he chooses to put in the Pokedex, or he consider the real Burmy. Just complete Burmy's Pokedex entry. Come back and show us what it says, will you? That's how it is. It seems all our Burmy are indeed... Well, Burmy! All three of them! So you're saying that Pokemon of the same species can come in forms as different as these? How incredible! Uh, I guess that means we were all in the right? Looks like we wasted our breath arguing. Jeez, well, I'm sorry I was so harsh to both of you. 
Oh, no, I'm just as much at fault. Really, this whole excavate has taught us a lot about Pokemon. I'm truly glad. <sighs> I apologize for getting a little heated back there, too. It all turned out well in the end. Sorry for getting you caught up in our mess. You did a great job clearing up our confusion. <laughs> I get a leaf stone from Leaf. Now that I'm feeling fired up to learn more about Pokemon, if any other curious Pokemon, I'd love to hear about them. I thought maybe they might want to see Wormadam. I have all of those too. <laughs> Floon. <laughs> they would just put this at eye level, wouldn't they? hilarious. Let's see what we got over here, huh? Hmm. What do you want to see two of now, huh? I bet you would like to dress up in your favorite color. I am. I want to make clothing in new colors, but I can't get a hold of the right materials. Oh, yes, I do. I'm not trying to get a cutscene here. One shard, blue shard, green shard, new shard? <laughs> Such beautiful shards. I'm sure these will work perfectly. It's panning in ever so slightly. Ah, it stopped. Still, that was a very strange pan. Let me try and dye something. I can make anything in a beautiful dye if I cook it down in the trusty cauldron inside my shop. Uh, you have a cauldron? Color more beautiful than even I uh, even imagined. It's all thanks to you, dear customer. You mean those pots there? Oh, no, I guess you do have some cauldrons. Over the... Oh, I guess... Oh, those are the same things, huh? Okay, Arizu, what are you going to see now? Hmm, no, that's not right either. It needs a special extra something, but what? Oh! Nice timing as always. I could use your help again coming up with some new hairstyles. I hit another wall here. Now... I bet I could get inspiration from a different Pokemon this time. A Pokemon like, yeah, Curlia. I can't remember how it looks exactly, but I'm pretty sure it has a real distinct style. If I could study one up nice and close, I bet it'd get me past this block. I managed to catch a Curlia. Bring it here so I can have a look, okay? I, I'm a little suspicious. I can't think of Curly off the top of my head, but I know it evolves from Ralts, and Ralts has a bowl cut. Uh, 
Okay, all right, it is not a bowl cut. Ralts, on the other hand, big bowl cut. <laughs> oh. These street lights weren't here before, were they? I imagine ever since seeing the Wurmple, every time I walk past, Silene's just like, to me. <laughs> Aye! Brought what I asked for already? No less than I expected of you. Wish I could persuade you to join my core. Ah, right, would you let me have three hunks of that crunchy salt? Tell me! Tell me why you won't let Choi have anything nice. The Coronet Highlands' finest feature. You see it in the wild, don't pass it over as if it were just another rock. This translucent mineral is great for making a potent Pokemon lure. Gotta break it over the hammer and get the chunks in a motor and crunch them right up. Grind them into a powder. Mix that powder with another ingredient and pack the mix together, and you'll get a crunchy cake that Pokemon love to much on. It's salt. Well, I can't bring his head back to Choi a failure since he so kindly brought me this crunchy salt. Tell him I'll set him up with some new wares. Ah, I forgot you wanted to know what happened between me and Choi. Well, that whelp went off with my dearest treasure. I'll never let him live it down. He ran off with your kid, didn't he? <laughs> We've got good news, good, good new goods in stock, thanks to you. You seem troubled. Is something the matter? Uh, he said I took his treasure, did he? That's one way to put it, but the story's not so simple. Please believe me for now that it's nothing you ought to worry about. Given what a fine customer you are, I imagine I'll end up giving you the full story at some point. In any case, we've got excellent new items on our shelves. Do buy some. Everyone's just got so much drama. So much drama. for a second. Uh, I'm getting... Okay. Oh, let's see. Oh man, <laughs> I mentioned earlier in that I was in that um, FF7 fan dub. Apparently, someone's been recorded trying to record their lines with FF7 music playing in the background. Let's see, come on. 
Ah, okay, I'm just getting random notifications that other people are on Twitch. Come on. Don't just ping me for this. Okay. I only got to wear my fancy new outfit around town for like one day. This is what happens, huh? <laughs> Those are some shiny shoes. Look at that. Okay, and snow goggles. Uh, it's jarring to see it without the shoes at first, you know? Okay. So, would it make for the Alabasta Icelands? See. Of course, I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of the other nobles. There seemed little choice but to intervene. But this Avalog out in the Alas to Iceland has none to soul as I hear it. Does it really behoove us to go out of our way to subdue him? If Avalog is as huge and strong as they say, there's a good chance he could start an avalanche. Avalanches don't require any Pokemon's help. They care perfectly well on their own, you know. I confess, I still have my doubts whether we should even be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far, but if we send Mitsumi out there, we'll be putting her in danger of real harm. People say the frenzies make the nobles suffer, right? So wouldn't it be a kindness for us to quell the Lord? Simply so much we don't understand yet when it comes to the noble Pokemon. We don't know whether the frenzies truly are causing them to suffer, nor do we know why they enter these states in the first place. Others are all connected somehow to the space time rifts. What is it, I wonder, that the commander hopes will come about from our quelling the nobles? Or indeed from Surveying any of the Pokemon of this land, what is it he hopes to achieve? I certainly hope so. The goal of my research is to help build a future where everyone gets along with Pokemon. Professor. Eh, nothing to bother yourselves about. Doubtless I'm just made a silly sausage. Your mission to carry out, haven't you, Mitsumi? We will support you in it. How about I offer my support by giving you another shot at honing your battle skills? <laughs> Ray, you're in for a world of hurt. Yeah, but I'm still glad I get to battle you. I owe you a lot, you know. If you didn't tumble down to us, I might never have learned to battle alongside Pikachu. Let's just head up to the frozen ice lands. I am freaking boiling in this getup. that. Oh, dear. Oh, my. We both have status ailments now.
Okay, I was not actually expecting that to happen. I'm actually getting kind of a pit in my stomach right now. <laughs> Come on, Murph. Really? Okay. Okay, that certainly took up a lot. Mm. Oh, look, you know what I could do? Is I could just keep resting. Until Star Avia keeps knocks it knocks itself out with Brave Bird. Oh, okay. Like, I'm getting really eager to see the end of this game. Hang out for the night. If you run into coin, say hi to her for me. I shall. Uh, yeah, fun too. The way you battle makes fighting alongside Pokemon look like the most natural thing. Good luck on your mission in the Ice Lands. Sounds like it'll be a perilous one dealing with a huge Pokemon like Avalug. As for me, I'll set up for the Alabasta Iceland's forthwith. See you there, my girl. Uh, you're at it again. You gotta tell me what the treasure is. You made off with his kid, didn't you? Never! Never, you whelp! Well, I'm on the other side now. Oh, dear customer, I'm sorry you had to see that. I asked Taha to supply me with some new goods, but he simply won't do business with me. I truly hate to keep imposing like this, but would you please try to make him see reason? You'd do well to bring him a token of goodwill. Perhaps some sand radishes? Three ought to do. New wares yet again. Want anything else? Oh. Okay. Okay, well, when I get there, I can just clear it around, okay? I missed Mass Togepi outbreak. Okay. 
All right. And just keep running down this way. This had better give me the ability to craft more effective potions without them. No, I don't want to deal with you. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. Okay. Oh, frickin' dang. Wow, okay. I just want to look at a mass outbreak of Gyarados, okay? And then I saw some new Sneasels. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so I caught a Gyarados. But no! I wanna... In the fuckity do! In hell, really? Just came up right behind me. <sighs> OK. 
Okay, you know what? Forget it. I don't want. I don't want it. Okay, come on. Yes, come on. Of course I made some new observations. It's a freaking new sneasel. Look at that thing. Species with newly completed entries. Awesome. Maybe we could just go to the north with, you know, entirely on our own. Speaking of being a silly sausage, I'm going to grab something. I have some silly sausage. <laughs> ah, man, look at that place. Look at that, doesn't that look great? I gotta check some place. Look at that, doesn't that look great? Okay, good. My audio sounds all right. <clears throat> My wood, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. Very few venture to these alabaster Icelands, apart from Taohua leading the Alt Supply Corps excursion to gather materials. At the survey corps, of course, must go anywhere the Pokemon are found. I'll say that enthusiastically, but... When I gather Ice Peak Arena, well, you'll find Avalog. It's rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless, this mission to cap to tackle Avalog will be another dangerous one. Learn all that you can from Irida and Anaman to try to keep yourself safe. Mitsumi! Brisk out here, isn't it? How aren't you freezing? Freezing? I'm practically sweating. You think this is bad? Just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're headed. You know, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't the Diamond Clan or a Pearl Clan thing. It's just a you and me thing. <laughs> we'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? I don't see how we could as long as you and your clan cling to your vision of an almighty Sinnoh that reigns over time. Forgive my bluntness, but if such a being even does exist, it's certainly not Almighty Sinnoh. Yes, yes, believe what you want. Just tell us where we have to where we have to go. I'm uh, not putting the the throat in his voice yet. <laughs> We're headed to see my teacher, and he's only ever found in one place. Which is that mansion behind you, perhaps? Oh no, that's that's the Snow Point Temple, isn't it? You're talking about that Garrick fellow, right? How do we find him? That Avalug's legacy, obviously. Where else but a great mass of ice could I have meant when I said we headed somewhere even colder? Where else indeed? Ready to go, Mitsumi? I guess... Sure, stomp off without me. This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing them by. See it, have a legacy, Mitsumi. Take care on your way. <laughs> wow.
Hmm. <laughs> mm. Fighting and poison. Interesting. I just used a Rapidash. Hmm. Because I know that Crowley isn't going to do very well out here. She's just not. So I'm looking for like fire or fighting or something that can help me in this part. Yeah, it's flying, so that would be vulnerable. Hmm. Honestly, kind of a a crapshoot, huh? Mm -mm. Can't take my dragons. <sighs> Can't take my baby. Hmm. Well, Magmar, let's bring you. Okay, yeah, let's send those. Okay.
Let's find Magmar's Magmar's uh, entry here. Seen it use flamethrower 40 times. Goodness golly. Well, might as well put you up front. Hmm. Oh, it's over. Oh, right, that's not snow. Okay. I'm blanking on names right now. Yes, that's Snowbird. into a snow runt. Snover is the pine tree. They, they have very similar names, okay? Is that? It? it is. It's another apom. Got a lot of you. Oh, crap. Okay, this is what I was trying to do. wisps remaining in this area. Yay. Is that the other thing I needed here? Just... Nope, it's crunchy salt. It's turnips that I need, right? Yeah, it should be turnips. Gracious me, gracious me. can be destroyed? Or is this like a rock? Ah! A snowball! What does that do? Oh. That's just a sn stunny thing. Excuse me. Yeah, there's that weird texture in the ground again. Hello. There we go, bird night. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hit me with it. Hit me with it. Poison jab, come on. Oh. Oh, goodness, okay. We're actually still out on top. Hey. 
I've been smelling these all day. <laughs> Let's try this. Oh my. It's just a bird light, okay. Crunch bomb. Crunch bomb? Crunch, and then mud bomb is the move underneath. There's a freaking course, right? <laughs> My apologies, I wasn't taking into account how chewy these are. Hmm. Oh, cool. Can't go all the way upside down, though. Whiteout Valley. Okay. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious me. Goodness gracious me. Some interesting music. an interesting twist in the music there. Said it almost like the Sailor Moon theme for a second. Da 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 <laughs> Oh. So it's not actually up here after all. Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Iron chunk, okay, fine. Looks like this drop right into there. Are these the turnips? Oh, no, they are not. this a turret? No, it is not. Fuck. Uh, I see a pile of swine over there. Oh! Yee! Swine up this one. Okay, huh? Well. Oh, there they are. There's the frickin'. That's what I was looking for. It's Snover for you! <laughs> and Snover for me! <laughs> oh, an amber palm, huh?
Okay, come on. Oh, there's someone. Oh my god. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not a character design like this. That was a miserable... That was a real slog, fighting through those miserable icy winds to reach the desolate bit of nowhere. Well done, us. This gentleman is Avalok's warden and my most honorable teacher, Garrick. So show some respect, Adaman. Let's begin with some proper introductions. I'm Garrick. I serve as one of the Pro Clan's wardens. You must be Mitsumi, right? Of the Galaxy Team? Answer me this, would you? On what grounds do you come here seeking to quell Lord Avalog? He's in a frenzy, right? That leads to my next question. What is wrong with him being frenzied? It could trouble others. No, that's... that's... No, you shake your head. No. Then I have another question. Setting aside any orders, what is it your heart tells you to do? To quell his frenzy. Ah, oh, mighty lord of the tundra, Avalog has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokemon! Sir, please try to keep your cool. For now, indeed, Avalog's causing no trouble. But aren't we also duty-bound to free our people from living in fear that such a colossal Pokemon might begin to wreak havoc at any moment? Think, sir. We are. There's certainly some logic to that. If that is what you hope to accomplish, then we must judge whether this child is up to the task. Who cares about the grandstanding? Let's get to battling! My musculature is as hard as unyielding as ice. Think you can break through? So you're just really gonna do squats on the ice, huh? When I said he was my most honorable teacher, I, um... Mock punch will work. There we go. Hex, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, crap, I don't actually have anything that will... Hmm. Alright. Go on, Snorlax. I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smashed me through and through! Phrasing, sir. I suppose you all can get on with it now. This one's all right. Thank you, sir. Some may still have their doubts about a stranger like Mitsumi, but I'll vouch for her. They insist on quelling Avalog's frenzy. He'll want to claim some of that eternal ice he likes and bring it to my lord's seat. Good luck! Eternal ice, is it? That you'll have to be able to fly, which means you need braviary. Long story short, you gotta seek out a young lady named Sabi. Tell the long story long. You're not saving any time if we wasted puzzling out what you mean. 
Is Navalug one of the Pearl Clan Lord? Uh, sorry, I was doing Garrick's voice. <laughs> huh. Is Navalug one of the Pearl Clan Lords? Seems a bit odd for me to do the talking. Uh, fine. Listen up. This eternal ice stuff can be found atop Avalug's legacy here. But to get there, you'll need my clan's help. Not even Sneasler can climb this surface, let alone a person like you or me. You're going to have to approach by air with Braviary's help. Garrick once managed to climb nearly to the top of Avalug's legacy, I'll have you know. Since he made it within six feet of the top, my makes right or at least height. And, uh, how about, how about Sabi? How do I put this? Even when she's not flying with Braviary, she's got her head in the clouds. I'll well, understand once you meet her. Head towards Snowpoint Temple and you'll probably come across her sooner or later. What? Sabi! My clairvoyance told me that I'd lead you on a chase. Think you can reach me? Oh my god, it's Cheryl's ancestor. I see what you mean about Sabi, but why would she be up there? Seems you best focus on pursuing Warden Sabi and let me focus on my workout while I still can! You're Crasher Wake's ancestor, aren't you? <laughs> Hello, my name's Sabi. Nice to meet you, Mitsumi. Same to you. I've heard about you, right? You're super talented, right? I bet you're gonna be fun to play with. I know why you're here too. You want bravery, so you can quell Avalux frenzy, don't you? Well, you'll get it! If you can catch me first! Let's go, Braviary! Of course. <laughs> Is that where I... Oh, no, it isn't. Never mind. I thought that was where I might have come out of, but it was a waterfall. I thought for some reason he was going to start doing squats again. Okay. Alright, fine. Kapow, 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 kapow! Yeah, I'm sure it was. Okay, let's see here. And I have to... Let's see. Sneasel, sneasel, sneasel. Sneasel, sneasel, sneasel. I made it out of... It's <laughs> just the way I said it, you know?
Look at this expression. <sighs> Okay, different forms I obtain. I have to obtain four forms? Oh, it's because the other one, they, they have male and female variants, right? Is that what it means? That it better be what it means? And turn the camera and turn it at the same time. <sighs> they really ought to make it so that it can't attack while you're in that state. Fine, I'll, I'll go this way, but I wanted to go north. Bone chill waste, huh? My goodness. Ah! This is, um, concerning. Okay, but you know what? I get up on these cliffs. Okay, alright, alright. I'll do this. I'll do this, yes. There we go. Okay. I don't even see any other point. Okay, well, that was fine. What are you doing out here? Frick it. Do for treasure, drink for treasure. Fine. I did all that for crunchy salt, really. Really? Okay, well I want to find whoever's getting this message. Doppled bonnets. Oh wow, okay. This this actually is her. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Hi mom, I'm doing a stream right now. Oh sorry. Okay. Okay, bye. Nah. Mom, what can you do, huh? Mitsumi! You made it all the way up here in this cold! Question is, did you catch me or did I let myself get caught? And one more thing, am I even really clairvoyant? No idea. 
That no, that's a no. That's not a no idea. No idea is a shrug. Nobody make me could really know, right? Anyway, the challenge continues. The next stop on our merry chase is Snowpoint Temple. The real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you? Or am I bored? Hmm? Let's go, Braviary! Uh... Let's see what we got. Some more snowballs, huh? then. What an odd thing to do. Yes? You know I'm streaming, right? Okay. <sighs> Parents tend not to understand the whole I'm streaming thing, you know? Come on. Okay, let's try this. C come on, it's just a little slope. Yeah, actually, here, let's try going over. <laughs> And up, and up, and up with ease. Oh. Well, how about that, huh? Yeah, I think this is nice. Sneezler, though. What? I, I just I don't understand the name. It's a very odd name. Uh what I wouldn't do for a paraglider right about now, you know? person who freaking backstabbed me would be streaming right now. She's probably streaming Breath of the Wild. No, wait, no, this is Friday. Ah, no. Uh. I just don't understand that whole incident. It's like, why would you not even tell someone that you have a problem with them? Why would you leap straight to banning them? Blocking them from everything so they can't even ask. Oh, is this looks like a turnip? A radish, there we go. Ah! 
Yeah, the you're being chased by a wild Pokemon music is awfully quirky for something that's supposed to be a serious threat, you know? Hmm. Arena's approach. Come on. Hmm. Oh, hey, look at that. I put the I put that right on top. Isn't that cool? I'm looking forward to seeing how big Avalug really is since they've made such a big deal about how enormous this monstrosity is. That's a B-roll. Oh well. Another Delcaddy, really? I had a quest I did off camera last night where I, um, ha where I had to show a guy a Delcaddy because he had seen the tail and he wanted to see the rest of it. No. no. And, uh, he wanted to try to make friends with it, but it scratched him. <laughs> because ain't that always how it goes? Is that a regular Stantler? That must be. I can't really tell from here, but it looked unusual. Ah, uh, no, that's not. I thought I saw a leak down there, but it ain't. Okay, goodness gracious. Alright. Let's get this going. I don't remember. What do I use Caster Ferns for? Uh-oh. Really? Why are you living up here? No. Nope. Nope, we're not gonna... Come on. Really? I thought that was another... Okay. I can pick up some more wood. Oh, okay, you're an apom. You are not something to be picked up. Unless you are net bug. Oh, really? Ugh, come on! This Pink fog is... Oh god, I just realized something. Just like how some Koroks are hidden at the top of trees, they're probably going to hide wisps at the top of trees too, aren't they? Okay, oh. Okay, well, this is the other kind. Where'd you go? Okay. Dang. 
close combat, really? Oh my god. Okay, well, here. Okay. Might as well slash. Oh, okay, golly. Alright. Well, I'm gonna come up on the mountain here. some chime echoes and some okay Aha, la, 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 and I got a shiny thing over there <laughs> yay and let's go over here first Find out what the shining thing is. Starlight, who will be chasing a starlight until the end of my life? I don't know if it's worth it anymore. Oh, shh. Darn it, I thought it was another shiny Pokemon, but it ain't. Netbag! We're just talking about you, and by we, I mean me, because I think I'm the only person here. <laughs> I was trying to pick up an item, but it was an apom, and I said you do not pick up apoms unless you are Netbug. What'd you do? Tell me about your stream! <laughs> Tell me all about it. How far did you get? on me. Oh my god. Oh, I thought it was a... Okay, let's try Fire Punch. Okay, so is the rufflet coming up on me? I thought for sure that this thing was um, alpha. Because I thought it had red eyes and I started reacting to that, but it did not in fact have red eyes. Oh, fucking course it did. Okay, poison gas. Roost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gonna, you gonna really try? Come on. <laughs> Let's see this. Come on. Okay. Oh. Yes, I am. Oh, frick. 
Um. No, 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 no. Mm. Uh. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, kind of wanted that, but thanks. I'm going to guess that Netbug probably saw where I was, didn't want spoilers, and fled. Okay. Someday we're gonna build up a town around here. <laughs> awesome. Ah, cannot actually climb the building. Ah, okay. I thought there'd be a wisp back here, but... I guess they wouldn't... Well, they might put two of them really close to each other. Okay, let's see. With it, I only found one of the radishes so far. Sand radish. This bitter root, originally native to sandy beaches, can now be raised even in frozen soil. It is pickled to make a sweet and spicy treat known as twice spiced radishes. So, Radicia is going to want one too. I mean, you know in my head I just call her Raditz, right? But that name is taken. <laughs> and just fly your bird straight into the building, huh? Hi again, Mitsumi! I was higher than that. It's nice having someone new out here to play with. Safety in numbers or something like that. Anyway, here's Snow Point Temple. I've opened the front door for you. Just a little more chasing left for you to do. The real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you? Or am I bored? Hmm? I'm gonna punt that kid across the yard. I heard what Warden Sabi said. If you had Warden Sabi's approval to enter, then by all means do so. Be warned, those who cannot solve the temple's puzzles won't get very far within. I've heard that the trick is to pay attention to which way the stone statues are looking. Come to think of it, I believe the statues have some sort of patterns on their chests, too. You believe? Used to be, you could just walk into places. Dompe, you in here? Oh god, this is a Zelda puzzle. Okay, flamethrower. There's no fighting in the war room. Ah. Okay. Yes, throw a leaden ball. Did 
do, 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 do. Ooh, move mastered. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. There are faint chases of an ice pattern on the statue's chest. Faint traces of a rock pattern on the statue's chest. People are probably speedrunning this game in like an hour. That's supposed to be steel? go. Okay, I see Manaphy again. There's some new symbols that weren't there on the other one. Like... That this this one here directly on the bottom here where it looks like so, like the arms out or something. I see Palkia again up there. I see Arcanine. Okay. Alright. I'm liking the experience I get for this. Aha! I avoided the attack. Gotcha now. Yeehaw! Not Janai, uh, Janai. No, no, Janai is the guy whose voice I recorded a few days ago. That was awfully fun. Rather specifically, his laugh a few days ago. I feel like I'm in Final Fantasy X. Hmm. Probably shouldn't, considering, you know, everything. Unless it turns out that Arceus is, in fact, a false god after all! Or at least an unworthy one. There are three panels fitted in the door. Each panel has a pattern carved into it. 
and the faint traces of words carved on the door as well. Wither the statue's gaze. Which panel do you press first? Oh, is it just specifically these? Okay, so it'll be rock, steel, and ice. You press the panels. Sweet. Ooh, okay. Snow Point Temple's top floor. Oh, hello there. I didn't know you could be found inside. Okay, ice. Rock, steel. Rock. Ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. Rock, steel, rock, ice. <laughs> Yay, okay. All right, I'm actually getting the hang of this. Oh, okay. Ice. Oh, wait. Okay. Steel. Ice. Rock. Ice. Hang on. I have the perfect place to do this. Okay. Steel, ice, rock, ice. Steel, rock, <laughs> there we go, because why not put it in chat, huh? Steel, ice, rock, ice, steel, rock. Yay! <laughs> My memory sucks beyond suck. Oh, some stairs. Didn't it? Okay. Ah, uh, damn. Come on. 
Yeah, 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 okay. Gonna come out at it. It's a tasty mushroom. Are you gonna fade into the pillar? Am I playing red light, green light with this thing? I am playing red light, green light with this thing. Why did that bounce off the wall to my side when I was throwing it ahead of myself? Are you stuck in the wall, good sir? Are you really? No. No! Are you stuck in the wall? Do you need assistance? Um... You're stuck. I, I, this, this thing is freaking stuck. I, I could, I can go tell her that you're stuck. Would you like me to do that? Okay. I'll get help. You don't really have a choice to wait here, do you? <gasps> Did it actually get unstuck? It actually got unstuck. I, um... I think. Oh, finally! Um. Okay. Le 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 level seventy. Um. Um. Okay. 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 Oh shoot. Um. Okay. 
uh, Chimborazo, we're gonna try you. If you don't work, we're going to run. Inferno Parade! Okay. Um. Alright. Snorlax is gonna go out. Snorlax is going to be a shield while I try to throw some balls. Uh, yes. Can this actually work? Can Blackjack actually be the hero? Okay. We're running. I've actually been tapping the B button for a while now. I have two revives. No. S1. Okay, we're just gonna. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, it's just her. I hope. I guess I've been caught, so we're nearly done. That's no fun. Hey, remember my clairvoyance? They showed me something else. I saw you flying with Braviary. Do you think that'll come to pass? Well... However the future turns out, flying with Braviary isn't easy. If you really want to be able to fly high in the sky, prove to me you're strong enough. Oh, fuck. Can I take us on? You remember how I just saved? Frickin' high horsepower. Oh, okay, good. Alright. Gah! Come on! Frickin'! I am... Stressing out, stressing out, stressing out. I have a woefully unpowered Magmar here. Okay. Just laughing at me, huh? See, like I said, I. I only have two revives. I only have two revives. Okay, everyone, I'm gonna need all your goodwill to get past this child. <laughs> Frickin' heck. Why do I do this to myself?
Okay, Murph would just fall prey to high horsepower. Okay. Okay, and at least I can come out here. I'm gonna see what happens if I try to go right past her. Oh, it's just when I approach her that happens. <laughs> All three of them. Okay, alright. I avoided being paralyzed, so that's good. Oh dear. Um <laughs> Let's keep doing this. <laughs> really? Okay. I thought if they kept looking around I might be able to wiggle past, but Yes, uh, that's hmm. okay. Let's try this. All right. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay, Snorlax. Okay, bulldoze. Let's try. Oh! Oh, heavens! Okay. Alright. That's good. Okay. That brings us on a much more even playing field. I can fight you with other things even if you knock Snorlax out. <laughs> oh! You've won all our games so far. But Braviary still wants to get to know you even better. Up to the roof we go. Jeez, when I went to Snow Point Temple, we only ever went to the basement. Yeah, look at this place. Oh! That's not even the highest point. Ugh, look at this land. Then, of course, there's the question of if we're in ancient times, who built these? Oh. 
Oh, there's... Is there anything up here? And why aren't I wearing gloves? Braviary. Why not test out Mitsumi's strength for yourself? Fuck! Okay. Well, I know from the trailers that it's a psychic type, so... Infernal Parade! Eh, you know what they say, life is like a hurricane. There we go. <laughs> Can't believe Braviary lost. But that's sad. Oh, thanks for playing with me. Guess I'll head home now. Bye. Two. Was kidding. Play along with me on your flute. <laughs> it's the same song every time. Bravery opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. The essence of flight? Not like the essence of the sky or something? Thanks, Sabi. By the way, you've got a glade infestation. Sure, having Mitsumi to fly around with should be friend for Braviary. Yeah? I'm glad. Well, where people and Pokemon live and work together, huh? You know what I just realized? You could roll your sleeves down if you're that cold. Tell me, why do you think the lightning that comes from the rift will cause these frenzies? Do you think this is all Almighty Sinnoh's anger? Or do you think this is a trial it's putting to us? If it is a trial, if we prove ourselves worthy and we quell the last noble, calm Alvalog, and the rift really ought to close, right? Even if the one who seems to be clearing this trial is a newcomer like you, not one of us who've been living here in Hisui for ages now. How come you're playing all wise? I thought you weren't a big thinker, Adaman. Hush, Sabi, I can feel history on the move. As far as I can see, the one ushering in this new era is you. So I stick with you. Someday I might get to meet Almighty Sinnoh myself. Question is, does listening to Adam and fascinate you or bore you to tears? Hmm? Anyway, Mitsumi, it's time for you to go soar with Braviary. If you jump from high up here, Braviary can take you gliding just about anywhere. And don't forget to get the eternal ice. That's why you need a Braviary in the first place, right? You know, we could have just built a really big ladder. Avalok's legacy is down there. Now go get a feel for flying with Braviary. When you're done soaring the skies and want to land, just ask him to dive. Yay.
It won't let me look from directly above. Um. Oh, I, I can't do that. I can't seem to get any lower. Oh my goodness. Oh, heavens, and what's this? <laughs> God, I told you, gotta stop calling me like this. Type of ice beloved by the Lord of the Tundra, Avalug. This ice is to be fragments of ancient Avalug that lived long ago. I'm bringing it its own body parts? <laughs> At last, the summit is conquered! And I see you made it too! Flew down to this place and obtained the eternal ice, did you? What drives that burning zeal of yours, I wonder? Did you really style your chest hair into the diamond symbol or or no, the pearl symbol? Sorry, I I can't remember who's who because you both seem so very similar. I do have to respect the effort you put in. I may have my own doubts weighing on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations so you can face my Lord Avalok. Meet me in Ice Peak Arena. Now don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform! A tall leap like this can only be managed by highly toned bodies like mine. Till next we meet! Oh, we're not even gonna see it. Cheap. There it is. Uh, no, 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 this way. Hello. I, I feel like I should be able to talk to that one. <laughs> you, um... All right, I'll take that as approval. Yay. Uh, meet again. Why, if it isn't Mitsumi? What a pleasure finding a familiar face, or any face in this far corner of the Alabaster Ice Lands. I came here to bring Garrick an order of snow caps, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Avalog. What do you say? Interested in a bit of gossip? And why wouldn't you be? So Avalog, yes, the fifth of Hisui's nobles. That he is, and you know what? He's an absolute beast. Oh, yes. 
According to what I was told, not only does he barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles, and he can cause sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Doesn't that seem a bit too powerful to take on? What's more, apparently the Avalug of old could be up to a hundred feet tall. Yeah, there's the Avalug of old, though. Doesn't that seem a bit too big to take on? Are you trying to dissuade me? Oh, you'll be all right. You just have to eat some sword caps to give your training your all. Nothing better for building muscle than that. Onward now to the arena. Uh, yes, well, I did want to see that Avalog, but perhaps not at the cost of my life. Suppose my freezing digits and I will be off. <sighs> Oh, there's the, there's the Pearl Settlement. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. Okay, and everything else has been, like, a variant. So there's going to be something to this Avalog that... Yeah, see? i got to use my medicinal leaks. See my Pokemon. Okay. Uh... Actually, no, I think I have a pretty good team. Because I have to... Th okay. Magmar has to use Flamethrower a lot more, huh? I have to get somewhere high and jump right off, but we're right near that giant cliff, so... Okay, fine. It looks like we're doing it this way, then. Here it is. Okay. Alright, there we go. I can just... I can just glide around, yeah? It does tend to go a little low. Oh, hey. not going to let me adjust at all, huh? Fine. Oh dear. Oh, 
Let's just run right past that. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Well, it looks roughly the same. The head shape's a little different. So here we are to quell Avalug as you wished. In the end, the strength of your feelings won out. Or maybe a real strength comes from the way that you walk among both people and Pokemon. Well, I suppose I'd better get to work making some palms using that eternal ice. I heard they were made, and with muscles like mine, it'll be only a moment's work. <laughs> it's gonna eat the eternal ice that is from an older Avalug. We are encouraging cannibalism in this game, and that is awfully strange. And there you have it! You truly wish to quell Avalug, then walk on the path lies before you. But know that Avalug will hurl chunks of ice at you without relent! You only don't rival dodging ability! Um... All right. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh dear. No, I dodged, I dodged. Yes, I know, that's what I was doing, and I dodged. Yes, keep... Pr I'm very glad that you don't fall off the sides, although giving a larger arena would be nice. Oh, come on! Cheap. Why does it do this? I'm dodging my thumb off! Oh, 
see, look at that. I dodged through it. I don't get it. Why is it not registering that I'm dodging through it? Really? Really? I can't even check my microphone. My microphone fell and I can't pick it up. This is not letting me pause. Jeez, and I have to check my audio to see if that's... Oh, geez. Okay, I guess I can hear it. Okay, that's good. I just... I don't get this. I don't... I don't understand. I feel like... Um, I feel like my hands are so sweaty by this point. Yes, I know that. That's what I'm doing. The game isn't registering that I am doing it. Yes, I know that too. I don't even have to dodge this stuff, I just have to run. I dodge, and then by the time she gets back up, there's already another one. Okay, come on. Okay. Okay. Flamethrower, come on. Earth out. Uh, shoot. Do I really have to avoid that myself? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck. Okay. Um. Okay, Chimborazo. We're gonna hopefully, hopefully. Okay, come on. I hope this will be enough to heal me up. So I still got those thick black lines on the outside. this. Ah! I managed it through a whole phase without getting hit. Yep, why won't it? I don't understand. Why didn't it send out Chimborazo? First time Pokemon has made eyes with bullet hells. Uh, 
Okay. Just run side to side. Serpentine! Serpentine! Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. Okay, you see me throwing the ball, right? I don't understand why I'm throwing the ball over and over and over again and it's not hitting. Earth power. Okay. Fine. That's fine. Okay. You choke. It's your turn. Okay. Do this. Oh no. Alright, but I'm making it with plenty of time. And this will hopefully be the last cycle. Trying to put ice in my way. It, wa it wasn't. Uh, get up! Get up! What in the fuck? Oh my god! Excuse me? Why didn't Chimborazo come out? I do it again and again and again and it keeps making the same error! Yes! Keep previous progress. What the fuck? Why would I want- what would the point be of starting over if I didn't? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, come on! Okay, about fucking time, come on. Okay, well, I'm getting in my... I get to see it use overheat. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 
no, I'm getting slow down. Okay, I heard that shing. Oh my freaking god. Oh my freaking god. Oh! Oh! like a weird horned creature? Essence of eyes! <sighs> Garrick, sir, you needn't look quite so downcast. But, but seeing mighty Avalon quelled and by such a slight child... A child that fell from the very sky. <coughs> Is this Matsumi girl some kind of monster in disguise? She's no monster. She was the one who risked her life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied suffering nobles. Matsumi. Garrett cares for the Pearl Clan with all his heart and believes in Almighty Sino just as deeply. So he's feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team could cause our people to flag in their devotion to Almighty Sinnoh. But that will change. Yerda? I know your fears will change what you see, what I've seen. Mitsumi has much to teach us. She's shown us how we can overcome all manner of strife as long as our Pokemon are with us. She's made me want to help Glaceon realize greater strength as well. And to see my whole world get broader. Seems you've already changed, Irida. I knew you could pull that off, Patsumi. He quelled every last frenzied noble. So is that space-time rift going to start closing up now, or what? You realize that means I can never go home if it does. This is a way of knowing for sure. Though the rift does seem perhaps a little smaller somehow. Let's hope so, anyway. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. Even if the rift does start spitting out more of that strange lightning, we should still be all right as long as we've got Mitsumi. Indeed we should. It's good to have her at our side. You know something, Irida? We may never agree on who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh, but you pro clan folk aren't all bad in my book. Look, <laughs> he's finally seen reason! Say it back! Anyway, now that we've called the last noble. I say we pay Grimmel Commander Kamado a visit and see if he'll finally crack a smile for us. Uh, alright. Seeing you take on Avalog was intense, even from up in the sky where I was watching. Uh, what are you gonna do now that all the nobles have been quelled, Mitsumi? You quelled Avalog. We may not yet know for sure if it was right or not to do so, but it was certainly a fine battle.
is nice. This means I can go wherever the hell I want now, right? I want to see something. Okay, uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where'd I get eleven from? Flame. Okay. Fire. Water. Electric. Grass. Ice. Poison. Earth. Bug. Psychic. Flight. So we're missing dark. We're missing a few of them. See some legatons. Look at that one. Well, zooming in seems to have increased its frame rate, so that's good. Hitting A, it wasn't working. Okay, come on. <laughs> A startled Snorunt jumped out at you! Kapow! Ah. <sighs> Oh, hey, check this action out, huh? Okay, so just a little bit more. That's this way. Just filling out the map. There we go, and now... Yes, I saw the blissy. No, I do not want to try to stop and catch it. That is a conscious choice I am making. No, I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I know you see me. I know you see me. I don't care. <laughs> huh. I wish... Um, I, I wish Braviary had an up and down. Instead of just, you know, relying on everything from side to side. And having to climb to higher places. Does it have an up and down? Because I was trying and I couldn't find anything. Okay, yeah, I do not care. That. Yeah. 
Pardon me, coming through. Bear on a mission. Aha, yes. Okay, well. Okay, here's something for me to do. You remember the Galaxy Senior Team Survey Corps, right? I've heard that you're studying Pokemon and making some kind of book about them. Does that mean you're also studying my dear beloved Bergmite? I can't allow that. It means you'll know about more about Bergmite than I do, right? I'm absolutely convinced that nobody loves or understands Bergmite more than I do. Once you completed its entry in your book, come show it to me. As Bergmite's number one fan in all his suey, I'll make sure you haven't missed any details. Freaky dicky. My space right is my space fight. Well, my space is bigger, so there. Now let me see who's got the bigger space. Guys, you really are in the past if you're talking about my space. When a fiery Pokemon sits next to you, its flames get all you know, cozy and warm. Where is this place called the World's End? Where is that? It's hard gathering food out in these parts. Not much to find in the first place, I guess. Okay. You know what we're gonna find, right? Cleaver and the other noble Pokemon watch over and protect us humans. Well, Pokemon like Ursaluna let us ride them and take us far away across Hisui. Us? You know that these Pokemon are all descendants of the Ten Companions of the Ancient Hero of Legend? Okay. We're about to enter a Pro Clan dwelling. We're gonna see whose pictures are on the wall. Yep! 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 But we still got older here! We still got older! <laughs> Young Yura just started training to become the clan leader when she was barely out of infancy. She's never had anyone her age to play with. It should be a lot cheerier around here if not for our ongoing food with the Diamond Clan. Uh, your name is Herb. I should go trade for some tools at one of the Galaxy Team's base camps. Their handiwork is something else. <laughs> I just can't get over this bullshit. <laughs> oh my lordy Lou. <laughs> They say Almighty Sinnoh watches over us from somewhere beyond the skies. I, I, I'm gonna take this. I, I, I can't get over it. I cannot get over. I remember a girl with a crow gunk. She said all the Pearl Clan does is sit around and watch over boring old places. And then she ran off into the wilds. I wonder what she's doing now. Coin. It's a real pain getting hold of materials here in the Icelands. We have to buy almost everything from the Ginkgo Guild. I'm sorry, your name is what? Ha! <laughs> 
Because that's real close to another character, but he ain't in the games. <laughs> Irida is serious to a fault, but, well, she was chosen as our clan leader very young, after all. I think it would have been fine to entrust Polina with that role for a little while. Yeah. Given who you guys revere, I don't trust you with any decisions either. <laughs> I, uh, and those two aren't even in this game, are they? Are they? They're they're gonna be like the. <laughs> Ingo is unbelievably good at battling with Pokemon, don't you think? I mean, it's like his knowledge about Pokemon is on a completely different level. Some Pokemon can actually be very affectionate towards humans. They live and grow together with us, and even protect us from wild Pokemon. Uh, to study, dreading to Hisui from across the sea, our ancestors met Almighty Sinnoh in this place. That is why the Poe clan decided on this location for our new home. God damn it. Almighty Sinnoh is testing our resolve. Yes, you said that. <laughs> Almighty Sinnoh created the world. Space was then born from that creation. What are you working on? Is that like a loom? It's like a partially constructed loom, I think. Is that a metal base? Yeah, and metal rods. I just... I cannot... Oh. I just... <laughs> I just... See, it's no wonder that our character never actually says anything about the present time, because they would not be believed. Oh yeah, we got a guy that looks like that in our era too. He almost destroyed the world. <laughs> and what about our leader? Almost destroyed the world in pretty much the exact same way. <laughs> Wait, I thought you said Silene's descendant almost destroys the world. No, he almost destroys the universe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> the Lord Avalog may not move about much. He keeps the wild Pokemon in check and watches over the safety of our settlements. Irida was so young when her mother left us. The poor girl can't even recall her mother's face. Perhaps that way that's why she adores Polina so much. Wait, Lottie? And me oh. I thought that there's gonna be like ass or something, although they'd have to be really careful how they spelled that. <laughs> Love in your heart for Almighty Sinnoh and with your dear ones close at hand, you can live just about anywhere. This is one of the Pearl Clan's teachings. Ah. Uh... <laughs> hmm. Me too. Didn't have Pokemon to help us. There's no way we could survive in this frozen land. I know. People in my world do it. Snowy terrain reflects a lot of light, so it's even easier to get sunburned here than at the beach. Uh, we don't go about exposing much skin here in this climate. Ah. Speaking of... 
I noticed for their not Archie, they went with kind of a medium skin tone. He's not pale like he was in the original games, and he's not really dark like he was in the remakes. They gave him kind of a sallow tone. Yes, sallow. It is a word. Look it up. It's not my fault y'all are illiterate. <laughs> You can still, you know, be well spoken and be illiterate, you know. Yeah, there's probably some very well spoken people out there who have difficulty reading. And vice versa. Extraordinarily well read people uh, who don't talk or can't talk. Alright, totally white trap so it blends in perfectly here. But what do you want? I'm not making any traps. Even we in the Pearl Clan might start moving to new areas if our clan gets bigger. Only the founders of our clan admit I'm 80 Center somewhere a bit more safe or warm. I'm sure many of us could have lived longer. Chilling. Well, they're the opposite of chilling, but you know what I mean. What? No. No. I wanted to pick up the crunchy salt. Oh. Well, that's funny. It's acting like I've never been to the Snowpoint Temple. I just... I am amazed. They actually... Really? They actually managed... To make Ruby and Sapphire a clan dispute. Wait. Ow. Oh. Dang it. Although, uh, now I want to find out more about that along with the whole thing about them having been in an organization together. Which, I, I've been through this before, talking about uh, what organization Archie and Maxi were in before. And I know a lot of people assume it had to have been Rocket, but Rocket doesn't make any fucking sense. N no. It really does not make sense for them to have been in Rocket. When the the whole weird thing with the sunken ship is right there. I mean, I can't go any f <sighs> I thought Breath of the Wild had absolute bullshit restrictions. I am in mid-air! What is stopping me?
Is this a statue of some sort? There's a plant behind it, so clearly I'm meant to get up there. It looks very much like a statue. The the usual the unusual stone statue stone statue oh, out across the snow fields. Okay, well, there's one of those. Hmm. What is it? Could be any number of things, really. This is very, very strange. Well, there. I, exp I explored the area. I found out what I wanted to find out about the Pearl Clan. And I'm woefully disappointed in their life choices. Still didn't find any more turnips. No, 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 that is the opposite of wanted to do. Okay.
I'm actually feeling really nervous about what may lay ahead. You managed to quell Lord Avalug. Fantastic stuff. As always, I'm sure the commander is eagerly waiting to report to the village. Yeah, there's definitely more lights here. And I, I haven't been able to find three radishes. this going on. I'm gonna do a lot of these off camera, you know, as I've been. Kieka, the security car fellow from Alola, has several Volvics, but he calls them Kyo Kyo. Track him down and see what his request entails. There are no other requests. Ah, it isn't one of our beloved customers. I right, trouble you to help me with a little survey work? My family are always passed down tales of some ancestors living in a village around the avalanche slopes, but I've never been able to find any hint of such a settlement ever existing. I'm beginning to doubt the tales are true. Everyone wants to know where they came from, right? It doesn't matter to me. So help me out. See if you find any evidence of the people who lived around the avalanche slopes. Uh... How much money do I have? Okay. Fine. This is highway robbery. 26,000. See, look at that. Not 27,000, not even 28,000. He went up to 30,000. If you need help paying for something, dude, you can just tell me that. Oh my god, there's even more. Stop switching the camera on me. What am I paying you for? Oh yeah. <laughs> each of the Pokemon nobles became frenzied and now each of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. To think peace would be restored to Hisui by the hand of our mysterious Rift-born helper. Okay, I met like one other guy that didn't trust me, but so far you're still the strongest place not trusting me. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Go nourish yourself at the Wallflower and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget, the Survey Corps work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Hisui without fearing the Pokémon around us. Some hot bullshit's about to happen, I can sense it. My blackjack senses are tingling. And I'm actually... Like right up here. It's it's evening again. Thanks was not sizable. Health and a potato mochi, Benny L. Chum. If there's anything else you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. Now that Avalog is quelled, too quelled too, we can survey all over Hisui. I certainly had my reservations as to where the Avalog needed quelling. But if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. I 
to think what kind of havoc the frenzied nobles could have wreaked if Mitsumi never came to us. Still, even with the nobles quelled, the rift doesn't seem to be closing, huh? Well, it was open before that. It only shot the lightning out after I got here. And it had been open for some time before I got here. Although, wait, if the rift were to disappear, would that mean Mitsumi would be stuck here? Yeah, you see, this is what I presented a while ago. I'm way ahead of you, Ray. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced in investigating things by now. They look into the matter and find a solution, I've no doubt. Even if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilee Village, Mitsumi. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us, and it'll be another hard day of work at the Survey Corps. Don't forget what we got our sights set on. Nothing less than a completed Pokedex. With you around, that Pokedex is as good as complete. You sure do love dicking around and not doing the rest of your missions. Hey, how about I just tag along as your assistant? Assistant? Come on, Rao Ray, don't say yourself short. You're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps, too. I mean, you're like 12 and you should probably be in school, but this is better than school, right? My dad wants me to be a carpenter. Ah, this is better than carpentry. Come on. <laughs> well, sure, I, I guess I am. In any case, time for a hearty meal and a heavy sleep. <laughs> Hot bullshit is gonna happen. Let's go the next day. Who is going to... Okay, I was going to say, who's going to accost me as I step out of my house stretching this time, but this is even better. And by better, I mean catastrophically worse. Uh... It said guiding now active. Oh, go outside and see what's happening. Uh, I liked my green outfit. Uh, no, it was the... Uh... Actually, you know what? I haven't gotten to wear my fancy... Monocle. Finish changing, yes. If Cynthia can do it in Masters and get a new outfit instead of dealing with the imminent trouble, then I can do it too. Interesting. It started up, I thought the sky had frozen. This doesn't look good, Mitsumi. Oh, it's bigger. This is what happened to your home region, isn't it? This is what happened to your home region, isn't it, sir? This sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space-time. Now the entire sky has gone red. I've word from the commander. You're to report to his office at once. <laughs> the way the sky has changed, it is ominous. Very ominous indeed. What's this about, Commander? You did call us here to discuss the quelling of all the nobles, didn't you? That can wait. There's a more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Krilivor into a frenzy. It struck the night that Mitsumi fell from the sky, did it not? Oh god, they're gonna pull a mystery dungeon on me! They're gonna kick me out! 
he's going to kick me out, isn't he? It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really, Mitsumi? I'm a Survey Corps member, I... Indeed, you've done all I ordered. That does not answer the question of who you really are. You came from the Rift, as did the Lightning! You're connected to these frenzies, are you not? Did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you yourself brought about?! And gained our trust. What then? What is it here really after here? Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest Mitsumi has wronged us. Exactly. Besides, you think she's got the sort of fearsome power to take to make all this happen? Let me ask you in turn. Can you prove beyond a doubt that she is free from guilt? This person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee she is who she says? Who here can guarantee she is to be trusted? This... No one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Mitsumi supposed to do then? See, it's like I said, he is the only one doubting me. She will be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster. But not as a member of the Galaxy Team. She remains a suspect unless she can clear her name. There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. You are literally the only one. So, I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in Galaxy Team. Consider yourself- oh god, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew they were gonna pull a fucking mystery dungeon! And if they're pulling a fucking mystery dungeon on us, you know what that means? That means he's the real culprit. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No. Until you've restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond doubt! Is that clear, Silene? Yes, sir. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in Mitsumi? Do not attempt to intervene on her behalf. I will do what I must as the commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. I have not forgotten your deeds nor the unusual skill you have displayed. That is why I have chosen to let you walk out of here free rather than clap you in chains. He to be expelled from the village? Seriously? Orders are orders. Let's go. This way. Can I grab my stuff? Can I... I can't even dodge roll. You guys aren't even part of this village, I... Arzu? Arzu, help me! I've always... I had your back when you were accused. Oh my god. I didn't. You come on, you trusted me. He's someone. We can take it from here, ma'am. Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept this stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. 
It is only right that I should personally escort her from the village into the Fieldlands camp. I'll come too. As will I, naturally. I'll allow it. Then I'll mark you all down as bound for the Fieldlands camp. Safe travels. I bet. I'm guessing Silene has something up her sleeve. One of you three has to have something up your sleeve, don't you? I can't believe the boss would do this. He quelled all those nobles' frenzies under his own orders. Quite right. Moe, even if you did have a full first sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. Suddenly intolerable! I might add, absurdly unscientific! The men of science, I must fight such a logical thing in tooth and nail! You must not. You will only cause Mitsumi more pain if you were driven out as well for defending her. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been an aide to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course. Perhaps Adam and Irida, Irida might take you in. I'm afraid they've both already returned to their respective settlements. I bet you could at least start by finding Leah in a Grand Tree Arena. Not sure where Maya would be if you want the Diamond Clan. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. I will ensure you have all you need to complete the survey this commander has tasked you with. If I might offer my advice. In this life, you are made with both admiration and abuse from others. How others choose to view you is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. All that truly matters is you hold firm to your own values. What of the dream I first shared with you on Prelude Beach to complete the Pokedex? That dream simply won't come true without you. I want to know the last time I cried at one of these games. It was the ending of Moon. When you had to say goodbye to Lily. Probably fast travel. But you know, we're imparting on an epic voyage and it's important to not feel alone. If anyone ever tries to give you shit for crying in a video game, just remind them of something like this.
I was struggling with the southern accent before. You! What in the world did you do? Look at the size of that. Oh god, no, I'm doing, I'm doing Australian again. Look at the size of that rift. If Latin starts pouring from it, all oh, the Pokemon in Isui could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in a panic now. I should have known that the only thing that could come from that rift was disaster. Help! Oh, that's not exactly something I can do. It's not that I wouldn't like to help you, but it would put Irida in a difficult position. I truly do wish that I could repay you for quelling Glevo's frenzy as you did. You must know that. There's nothing I alone can do for you. <laughs> Warden Mai might be able to help you, though. She's a caring woman, after all. You'll most likely find Mai at the Warren Bridge. It's believed it's a very significant place for her. I'm certain somewhere in the vastness of Hisui is a place for you as well. So I have people on the inside who are helping me out. No! What are you doing? No! Kind of somehow making me feel even more alone. My, my, what a frightful sky. Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. You don't know what brought this about, do you? I suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all this. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the one to save you. The Diamond Clan could end up at war with the Galaxy Team if things went badly. I think you would regret that as much as anyone. Great Weirder took a liking to you. I want to offer you my support, but... Forgive me, I cannot help you in this. Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. Besides... You seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. I'm not going to live among shinks. I'm allergic.
Strange events seem to follow you wherever you go, don't they? You know more about this than you're letting on. Found you at last, Mitsumi. I've been looking all over for you, you know. What would I do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? Don't worry, I've already heard what happened. A good merchant knows well the importance of staying abreast of all the latest news. Seems you're in quite the pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. To say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy team has treated you. And not to worry. Oh, God. The forgotten fourth faction that's been in our faces the entire time. There's still corners of the Hisui region where we can stash you away in secret. I know a spot that'll be the perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. I'm not going to the Hall of Origin with you. I'm trying to make jokes. Yep, the Ginkgo Guild. Who do you have a picture of? <laughs> It's gonna be Steven or something. <laughs> I know, I know, it's no palace, but you know the saying about beggars and choosers. Speak to the person who dwells here at the retreat? He's... Yeah, there is someone else. Is this someone I'm going to be shocked to see? I can't... I can't tell from here. I see a long dress. A very... and one of those fancy hats. Shirking your work to come pester me again. Even beneath a bleeding sky, you never change. Always a pleasure, Mistress Kagata. Oh, God. If they mention anything about Time Gears... But I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn more of Hisui's myths and legends. Oh my fucking god. I had it wrong. It's not the other merchant! It's her! She's the other part of Cynthia! Oh my god. Ah. And she's even got the 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 the, the, the pin at her neck or whatever that jewelry is okay okay fucking forget that voice no mistress thank you just Kagata and this is why well, Mitsumi is the woman of the hour she's the one who quelled the frenzy of all the Pokemon nobles believe it or not uh, the poor wretch you spoke of, lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one. Seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last, thanks to you. Indeed, I am to guide you, lost one. For the task of preventing great disaster falls to you. The rift in space-time must be mended, lest time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. Come, 
You must enter my dear hideaway. There's much to be told. The space-time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable other dimensions. In one such realm, far and farther still from ours, dwells Almighty Sinnoh. Either one? The expanse from antiquity to eternity and the expanse to all sides above and below. Time traces the path we tread from the here and now into the future. Oh my god, look at her dresses. While space yawns all encompassingly, surrounding us in every direction. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, compromise all creation, the universe. How can one claim that either is greater than the other as those two clans do? Perhaps the truth is clearer to a wanderer such as you, one who has known other ages. Now listen, lost one, here's what you must do. Hisui holds three lakes of great importance, Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Acuity. At each dwells a Pokémon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set to you, and bear their gifts to the shrouded ruins. There you may receive the red chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. <laughs> I was right to not put my glasses back on. constipated bastard. Black Jack needs a hug. <laughs> I know there's no way that they had all this planned ever since 4th gen, but Dipping my head so low, maybe I should. <laughs> I'm going to be messaging Netbug right now.
Legit crying in the club tonight. <laughs> Sobbing my eyes out at this game. And you want to know? Stuff in my head is like, you know, I told people this bastard wasn't just a shallow villain. You know, I've spent... How long has it been since the originals came out? Talking up the storyline in Diamond and Pearl. And the lore in Sinnoh. And the, the the story and the characters. <sighs> I always seem to get into games the gen before, or the game before everyone starts making a huge deal about things, things like story and characters and depth and. All of this stuff. I'm a Final Fantasy VI fan. <laughs> Do you know what that was like after Seven came out? Perfect shot. <laughs> Buying the world, you say? You mean it won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old words and what they bid us to do. How true they are isn't mine to know. But you want me to risk the region on it? Regardless of their truth, I am bound to pass them on. A callous of my ancestors to leave their legends to their children to have thought for the hardship it would cause them. And you're going to do exactly the same thing. And so's Silene. And so's Kamado. And so is everyone. <laughs> but here we are. You know your duty and you'll do it, won't you? I don't really have a choice. There is nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. Mistress Kagada has got a lovely workbench here. If you need materials, I'll be happy to help. I'm always happy to do business with you. Ah, that's the problem, isn't it? What should we do about that indeed? Silene Zabra! <laughs> what was that cry? We now a lost Pokemon as well as a lost child? Do see to it, please. How can I refuse you, ma'am? Oh, God. I hook them up, don't I? I'm responsible for my own downfall. <laughs> off, off we go, Mitsumi. Hello, hello, it's an Abra. Where did you teleport in from, little fellow? And it's got a letter. A letter addressed to you, Mitsumi. To Mitsumi, you may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pastures in Jubilife Village. I've also ensured that you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. 
I have every confidence in your ability as an adept survey corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. Sincerely, Silene. Survey Corps Captain, Expedi Galaxy Expedition Team. Good tidings from the letter, then. Now then, so we're to visit Three Lakes? Doesn't sound like an easy task, that's for sure. It sure would be wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out. <laughs> Quite the opportunist, aren't you, Volo? Such a consummate guild merchant. I've managed to reassure my people for now. The Wardens are all keeping a close eye on their nobles, too. Seems all quiet. All's quiet for the moment. And so, here we are. Still, we'll never get away with openly aiding you. If we were to undermine the commander's direct orders, relations would grow strained. Long story short, we want to help, but without drawing attention, so it'll just be one of us. Me or her, it's up to you, though the answer should be obvious. I have the most awful feeling that whoever I pick is going to die. I... I don't even get my photo. Dear me, lost one. Seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last, thanks to you. I just have the worst feeling that whoever I pick will die. Problem is, the choice actually is pretty clear. Of course, you'll choose me. I was the one who got what you needed when you first set out to call Cleavor. You and I made his bones together. Just what I would expect of you, Mitsumi. You made the right choice, you won't regret it. Don't make me regret it. Or you know what? Live to make me regret it. <laughs> so then the leftover leader will... Leftover? Think again. Mitsumi trusts me enough to leave the tough job up to me alone. I'll be keeping an eye on the commander, so I can let you all know if anything happens. Of course, of course. And the lucky chosen one comes to us with the links. Comes with us to the links. We can fill you in on the details as we go. 
Well, the first task will be to decide which of the Hisui region's three Great Lakes to visit first. But yes, we should get moving. <sniffs> I'd rather walk this road together, but if the commander were to get wind of it, it'd only make things worse. I'll meet you at whichever lake we choose. All right, Irida. You and Mitsumi. Well, you two do what needs doing. Well, that kind of picked our... Okay, okay, all right. I was going to say that picked the lake for us, but... This may actually be where we end up tonight. Something you need? We've come to the right place. I am a Ginkgo Guild merchant, after all. keep going. Today we accomplished an awful lot. Can you even hear me? Accomplished an awful lot. Yeah, okay, you can hear me. <laughs> I, I... Let's, uh, let's see who's on that we can raid, huh? <laughs> um, How about your mods? They're flavorful and filling. <laughs> They're really cute, and it tastes like cookies and cream. I, uh, actually, uh, I Make sure to put to down... No, I just... I feel kind of like just going to bed. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll see you all later. This has been Blackjack Gaviani, and we are crying in the club tonight. <laughs> <laughs>